dollars sent home from the diaspora by your loved ones represents their hard work and commitment to ensuring that you're all taken care of. That's why we want to ease their experience and make it more convenient. With Sasai Money Transfer, sending money from the diaspora is free and you receive the money straight into your EcoCash USD wallet, ready for you to spend and cash out for free. That way, you can receive money to help you alleviate the impact of the drought on you and your family. Buy groceries, pay school fees, renew your insurance, pay bills and more within a few taps on your phone. And you're guaranteed access to USD cash from any registered EcoCash outlet nationwide. Tell your family in the diaspora to send money with Sasai Money Transfer today. Let's fight the El Nino-induced drought together. EcoCash. Live life the EcoCash way. The views expressed by our guests in the following video are solely the opinions of our guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and or opinions of the Ola 7 podcast show. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello guys, Magadi, Magadi, Magadi. How are you doing? My name is DJ Ola Seven Owen. We Kwamadon. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of On the Spot, where we chat, you know, with uh, different, um, you know, personalities here on this program: uh, sportsmen, business people, uh, entertainers. Ah, but Nasi, it's going to be different. It's a different one altogether. Ah, oh, trust me. Um, I tell you, DJ, food for thought. Here, I doubt it. Gazre Nasi can have to eat DJ go. Do you have to find a zita? But I don't know the type of zero DJ. I think you were open up your program. You know, when I was open up, I didn't get rich. Cause I'm talking to one of the most controversial, should I say? Yeah, controversial. Uh, he's a big man in this African continent. His name is Indondwadi Bama Pong. Dara maponga. Ubaba. Maponga. Hebo mm. <laughs> baba. <laughs> Ninja ni baba. <laughs> ah, ngiapila. Ngiapila baba. Uti. Sia bonga. Sia bonga. Welcome, Mr. Mabonga. And, you know, it's been it's been a minute. I think we last had uh, our conversation uh, some two years back. Almost, yeah. Yeah, almost uh, almost two years. Mm. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad not to be hosting you. But we, I promise that I'll come back. Yes, definitely. So. You did. <laughs> and finally, you're here. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> though, though other things which were supposed to happen in the other program yes. uh, have not materialized, of but, course, but of otherwise course. in the absence of uh, conflict, of course, we are doing fine. <laughs> uh, no, that's fine. And, uh, you know, you are yeah, quite um, a controversial figure, you know, but one thing I like is that uh, you always express yourself, you know, uh, I don't know, in every way possible. No, 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 no. I've learned one or two things. Some people might not agree with what you say, but also they do not have anything to replace uh, what they do not agree with. Yeah, I think the, the one of the worst problems we have mm -hmm. in terms of humanity is always looking for for support. Yeah. So we end up creating what I'm what you young people call groupies. Yes. Yes. These are groupies of mm -hmm. thought, mm -hmm. groupies of religion, yes. groupies of sports, eh, Madrid, Arsenal, yes. and, 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 and people eh, who are from the university, MSU, <laughs> yeah. and if you look around the community, it's almost coming, going into these small little pockets. Mm -hmm. yes. And these pockets, each one of them has a way of interpreting its own reality. Yes, very true. The problem starts when one group of people mm -hmm. Begins to impose. Yes. It's so far now they can ask Nadia to two one. What are Madrid the other two one? Ah, ah. Can I mend my win? My win? Oh, we the. I don't know. Is that a win? I know we. But somehow people tend to always want to work with people that agree with them. Mm. And then I listen sometimes. Ah, when I show out to you, what kind of nanny? Because I don't agree with him. Don't I? Mm -hmm. But no one can walk on the corner. No one can walk. No one can walk. No one can walk. No one can walk. No yeah. 
So it's not it's not for me. It's, it, I've gone past um, seeking for approval, mm -hmm. and the fact that we got the ID department, yeah, and you asked to put a fingerprint, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the people have noticed that every fingerprint, yes, is different. Mm. And how then can you have a different fingerprint yes. and yet same mindsets? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There, there must be some uniqueness yeah. of yeah. identity, mm -hmm. not only of a finger, but of thought, thought. Yeah. of emotion, mm -hmm. of interpretation. And each one of us mm. is walking their own journey. Yes, true. And if you want to notice how stupid you are, mm -hmm. don't be writing a mathematics examination and you're copying history answers. Mm. Yeah, true. <laughs> you know, Does it make sense? We know people are a history. It's not as, 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 as so yeah. Yeah, there, there is a level of identity mm -hmm. at the end of the day which people are struggling with. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, Christianity, yes. sports, mm -hmm. you know, entertainment here and there, culture, politics, mm -hmm. give people these comfortable corners. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. That's where people go for ill for 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 ma ma rally. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. kwa kunawa nongani. Ah, kwa kuni ten thousand. Uh -huh. And the person feels good. Kwa kunawa ten thousand. Saka tiri right. Tiri no tiri right. No, it's not tiri bo. Uh -huh. We are right. right. Yeah. Because ten thousand people can't be wrong. Exactly. But ten thousand fools. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> ten thousand fools can be as wrong as their leader. Mm. And one wise man can be right by himself. Mm. Therefore, we say in English, yeah. truth is truth. Yeah, it doesn't change. Even when no one believes it. Mm -hmm. and false is false, mm -hmm. even when everybody believes it. Yo, yeah, that's uh, that's very, very powerful. You know, you know, sometimes uh, people want to know, I'm Dara Mapung, I'm Dara Way, and controversial. We are going to, you know, dove into that area. Um, they, there's also Shaddai. I don't know if you know Shaddai or if you follow him on, on Twitter. Or X is quite, you know, uh, controversial as well. Mm. But Yano's opinion, I need to learn take learn, learn how to learn or perish. Either which are agree, which are zidza, or which are go parallel, which are nuksha agziwa from what he did. But do you also believe? Um, I mean, feminism is applicable uh, within African uh, family structures and religion. The life is not uh, negative. Life is not positive. Mm -hmm. Life is not male. Mm -hmm. Life is not female. Life is not light. Life is not darkness. Mm -hmm. There is a combination of both mm -hmm. which makes yeah. life what it is. Mm -hmm. And any time people try to pick one angle mm -hmm. of the society yeah. over another angle, mm -hmm. you're already creating deliberately an imbalance. Mm. So whether you're talking about masculinity, yeah. let's actually talk about toxic masculinity, mm -hmm. Whether they are talking about feminism, mm -hmm. let's also talk about toxic yes. feminism. Mm -hmm. Both the toxic sides are not good. Mm. But at the center, there are husbands and wives, mm -hmm. mothers and fathers, mm. boys and girls. And if the community should focus more mm -hmm. on improving the girl child, yeah. neglecting the boy child, mm -hmm. the question is, where will the girl child find a husband mm. who matches they are high pedestal. Mm -hmm. So most likely you're going to end up with very educated women yeah. with very stupid men. Mm. The other direction also, if you push the boy child too high, you're going to end up with the girl intellectual child. men, mm -hmm. stupid women. Mm -hmm. But we don't want a society that is full of powerful women. Mm -hmm. We don't want a society... Well, what's the take on uh, the 50-50 you know, uh, policy? It's a beautiful phrase. We call that in English uh, popular sentiments, poor theology. <laughs> because equality does not mean sameness. Mm -hmm. yeah, no, no matter 50-50, mm -hmm. pregnancies remain pregnancy. Yeah. Period pains remain period pains. Mm -hmm. And men must do what men can do. Yes, mm -hmm. women can climb trees, can climb magetsi, mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. men can do. Yeah. But can we actually say they must do it? Because that they are proving to be a man. No. We, we, by physiologically, mm -hmm. there are some distinctions that remain True. clear. And in as much as we are trying to Blair, that the day she's on her periods, mm -hmm. will she climb the, those poles? Nah, she won't be able the to day she's that. pregnant, mm -hmm. will she climb those poles? Difficult. Then you're, you're talking 50 50. Yeah. And I think we are missing something very critical. Mm -hmm. It is that life has made women superior to men. Mm. Yeah, powerful. Women are the gatekeepers mm -hmm. 
of life. Mm -hmm. In fact, women are, are portals mm -hmm. of existence mm -hmm. through which they are the official gates through which all human beings come into existence. Mm -hmm. And it has been made so that she will keep the child for mm -hmm. nine months. Yeah. She will breastfeed the child for another year or two years. Mm -hmm. She will train both the boy child <laughs> and the girl child. And the girl child. Mm -hmm. And introduce that girl child or boy child. This is your father. Mm -hmm. We hope his Mugabe is not listening. Yeah. This is your father. <laughs> this is your mother. Mm -hmm. That is God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is food. That is a snake. Yeah. It's a mother who does that. Mm -hmm. And a woman who runs away from that position of power mm -hmm. where they are the basic custodians of life to say, I want to abandon this, I want to go and run with the men. Mm. I want to go and... Then the question is, if you leave that post of mm -hmm. duty, yeah. look at the dangers mm -hmm. of a whole doctor woman, a professor at the University of Zimbabwe, mm. teaching other children. As my teacher. Mm -hmm. So you find that educated people are leaving their children with uneducated women. Mm. And what do they do to the children can be pathetic. Mm -hmm. So the issue of 50-50 must be discussed in terms of equitable privileges. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to existence in its fullness, it can never be so mm -hmm. that we are going to share duties 50-50. We're mm. going to sleep 50-50. Yeah, that's... We're it. going to get pregnant 50-50. <laughs> it's totally different. We're going to go on our periods 50-50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, it's, that's why I'm saying it's popular. It's beautiful to say 50-50. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to application of the 50-50, yeah. I don't think that it is actually an honest... Mm -hmm. Yeah, Let's make it 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Women must be women. Mm -hmm. Men must be men. And let men not abuse women. Mm -hmm. And let women not abuse men. men. And let the two people meet together mm -hmm. and live in a equitable, you know, governable, mm -hmm. where each party must be free to exercise and develop themselves to the best capacity of which they can become. Yeah. That's my definition of marriage. Mm -hmm. Marriage is where two people, two equal sinners. Mm -hmm. Two equal sinners. Two sinners. Mm -hmm. Because if you marry an angel and an angel fasts for <laughs> for 40 days and 40 <laughs> nights, you know, you know, so, so you look for a human being mm -hmm. who, is, who also has errors like you. Mm -hmm. And you give each other opportunities to realize your capacity and potential. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, that's very powerful. Yeah. So we want to get into, you know, details uh, as we progress. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, just out of uh, curiosity... Uh, is there, you know, significance or history, you know, behind the distinctive uh, patterns on the heads you you wear? Yes, there is a, both a theological base. Mm -hmm. There is also a cultural base, and there's also a fashion uh, base. Mm -hmm. So I must decide how to answer you. Mm. Uh, biblically speaking, in the book of Ezekiel, every priest priest works in the temple. The black book says you must not sweat. So we're going to find some Buddhas here. Out of Nam Temu. I'm under the. Why because I'm a linen. You have to know where you're going to sit. Why? Man, the priest must put on linen. Linen, right? I don't want you to sweat mm -hmm. when you are working before me. Okay. And the story is you, some guy must have Put it. Don't come to me naked. So can you ever do that? Man, for now, put it on the story. It's not biblical. Actually, the man. <laughs> they must close, they must cover their heads. So there so, is. So, so, I know, but I'm so happy. I know, but I'm so And so the hair is the cover for the mm. for the head. Okay. So I was with so this is a hit. I'm so footy with it. 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 Then on a cultural base, uh, I usually put those round bands on my hand. I'm so footy with it. Yeah. I'm so footy with it. I'm glad. Which is a, a, a cylindrical mm -hmm. sphere of cosmology, oh, yeah. which also shows our understanding of the cosmos mm -hmm. as it is also on our minds. It's a timepiece oh, yes. which says, I understand what is above mm. 
and my mind is also governed. As go fashion. Yeah, but for for me, mm-hmm. it's actually a, an understanding. When mm. I when I put on those things, yes. then my, even my thinking, yes, I'm able to push. So, I, I, are you the the one who des, who designed it? I make all my hats. Oh, all of them, all of them. Wow, and even this one. Yeah. yeah, the beads and everything, the arrangement. I, I do everything for myself. Wow, I do everything. That's amazing. Then for fashion, of course, uh-huh. people, other people rather put on my cap is York, New York. Yes, yes. Other people rather put on. Mm-hmm. You know, I decided I'll create my own fashion. Yes. To create I, my I, own. I like that. You know, so you you posted um, this on on Facebook saying, in a quote, uh, "Better marry the woman who loves you than woman you love. The woman you sleep with is you is your mother, for she will bathe you, duplicate you, breastfeed you, and." Allow your spirit to transcend into many other generations to come. Close quote. So, how do you interpret you know, the idea of marrying the woman who loves you rather than, uh, rather than the woman you love? Traditionally speaking, and I'm saying this from my mother's side, mm-hmm. uh, or from my grandfather's side, on my mother's side, which is Zulu. Indo de Yeshela. A man runs around, mm-hmm. finds a girl. Yeah. Hey, we're now umshaka kulu jenge langa. What, 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 what? Hey, the man does a dance and dance yes. and dance, and yes. you walk away. Mm-hmm. You go to another one again. You do the same. Mm-hmm. You go to another one. You do the same. It is the woman. Mm-hmm. After she has seen three, four, five, ten, fifteen dancers, mm-hmm. then she sits at home, and she starts putting on ubushali, mm-hmm. which are beads. Mm-hmm. Then she organizes a f- few girls. Mm-hmm. Then they go to the house of the one that she has chosen. Okay. Wow. Then she comes. We are all marking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then she puts that necklace on you. Mm-hmm. Say, I have chosen you. Wow. So a man takes chances. Mm-hmm. Women make choices. So, 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 so in our culture, here like in our Zimbabwean community, do you think it's a proper thing to do for a woman to come and say, okay, I choose you? I it, it's a, it's a, it's happening exactly the same mm-hmm. because you go to a girl you propose it mm-hmm. said I don't love you mm-hmm. yes you go to another one I don't love you mm-hmm. until the one that she loves then she picks the one that she loves mm. so men can never lie to themselves yeah that I chose a woman mm. it is a woman that chooses a man mm. it's not a, you are just admiring if she says I don't <laughs> if she says I <laughs> they look at you women look at you then they size you up can i duplicate this one right then they choose so men must act and behave like they are chosen Mm -hmm. so why must you choose the woman that loves you because she has chosen you yes you are her choice the one that you love you're going to suffer Mm. because you're going to spend the rest of your life chasing after her Mm -hmm. the one that loves you will build you yeah and you sleep with her and she's no longer your wife Mm. she's your mother because she will give birth to you. How? She's capable of duplicating the seed in you mm. after your kind and reproduce it. Mm. So if you want to see... By, by giving birth. If you want to see yourself, your wife will make you see yourself. Mm-hmm. So you treat her not like your wife, mm-hmm. which is junior to you. Yeah. You treat her like a senior to you mm. because she carries within her capacity of a photocopying machine of duplicating you after your own kind. Mm-hmm. Now that's power. Yeah, it's uh, it's powerful. But what I want to understand, um, <laughs> exactly. But I, I want to understand. Yes, you have explained this to me. But morally, in our society, when a girl approaches a, a man and say, "I love you," people will be like, "Oh, you can't zungo or something like that." But you are saying it's the right way. It, it is to make how it, it's supposed to, to be it, done. To make it even simpler for you. Every girl, you must just improve your product. Make it lookable. Mm. People will come. Every girl. Every girl. Mm -hmm. Clean up yourself. Look after yourself. Mm -hmm. And improve your value. Mm -hmm. It's like an orange tree, uh, Ola. Yeah. You have never seen an orange tree walking on the market Mm -hmm. selling its oranges. An orange tree produces oranges and stays where it is. Mm -hmm. Those who want oranges will come here. Yeah. So we say in English, improve your value Mm -hmm. and we'll find you. (laughs) But what factors should one consider in choosing 
a life partner. Your mother's, your mother's qualities are the best. Because at least you are dealing with what you know. The mm -hmm. first woman that you know. Okay. And it has been proved by psychology that mm -hmm. many times men will always choose qualities mm -hmm. that are similar to their mother. <laughs> and having said that, therefore, mm -hmm. it is almost safe many times, mm -hmm. if we can go back to tradition and culture, yeah. that the process of looking for a wife, you must not leave that to yourself. Mm -hmm. You must involve your navatete, mm -hmm. your aunties. You yeah. must involve your mother. In some certain cases, mm -hmm. it's even safe to ask your mother to find you a wife. Mm. Don't imagine if your mother finds you a wife, who will be the best person to advise your wife and discipline her? Mm -hmm. Imagine the kind of relationship your wife will have with your mother. Mm -hmm. The problem we have, we go and look for our girls, kuma, yeah. kuma saluni, tunutundu wana kuma disco, to one of my all night do prayers. Do you want to go spend your time, Tiri? More than a church, a weary teacher, a weary teacher, coming in Babona now, Coco. Exactly. Wonder to go to my tearing in. To go to Tanga Gudan and Jigumi. Yeah. She's my uncle. And the worst is there because yeah. there's no relationship. Yeah. And true. many of our young girls, my 2000, mm -hmm. they've not learned the discipline yeah. of what is the relationship between me and my mother in law. Mm -hmm. Because there are two things there. Mm -hmm. I will never sleep with my mother. True. Put that between your ears mm -hmm. as my wife. Yeah. And you as my wife, mm -hmm. remember something else. You will never give birth to me. Mm. And me as a man, I have two women. Yeah. One on the left mm -hmm. and one on the right. Right. My mother birthed me. Mm -hmm. And for 40 years or 30 years, yes. we've been together. Mm -hmm. You will appear in two weeks. Yeah. And they are telling me that my mother is sick. Confusion So, and I think young girls get so because they are also women. Yeah, true. So they have capacity to say, I can, yeah, actually, I can do what your mother can't do. Yes, true. Yes. But my mother can also, or my mother has done also mm -hmm. what you can do. So if you want to mess up as a woman, make a man choose. Between you mm -hmm. and the mother. And his mother. <laughs> and you know who will lose that battle. Ask, but, ask those yeah. who have tried it. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, but I don't go. I don't know side. And, and we know who. Yeah, of we course. Know who. Of course. Yeah. So, I, I, I mean, uh, can you elaborate uh, on the comparison between the woman you sleep with mm -hmm. and the concept of motherhood? How does this relate to the cycle of life and family connections? Family connections are more maternal, mm -hmm. as, I, as I say it. It is the woman who is the spiritual portal, mm -hmm. who is able to download information from the universe mm -hmm. into her body, from the community, which mm -hmm. is your body, mm -hmm. and synthesize that information within herself mm -hmm. and translate watery substance, which you call sperm. Yeah into bonds mm -hmm. and code it to make a human being. Mm -hmm. Now, to me, that's not just... We might just look at... Maybe, in fact, the more you study simple things, the more complicated you discover life is. Mm -hmm. It's a mystery that a, a human being can grow another human being. It's a mystery of nature. Yeah, true. That, true that. life can actually generate mm -hmm. itself mm -hmm. in another life. And become another life. Mm -hmm. And if you are talking about the spirituality of women and the cycle of life, the woman's womb, the waters within the woman are the premodal waters. Mm. And when you look at the word premodal, it is the same word you find in Genesis, mm. in the creation. Yeah. The world was full of darkness and waters filled. The word used for water there is actually mm. premodal waters, mm. which are the same as birth waters, yeah. which are now called the sea waters, mm -hmm. the salt waters of birth. Yeah. And so life, therefore, even when you're trying to baptize people, if I would go back to church now, I would rather actually baptize people in sea water. And if it was a baptismal pool, I'd rather put salt in there mm. to create the rebirth. Oh. Because then this is, you do theology with understanding. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Because I say rebirth. And you look now, even in terms of um, esoteric teachings, when our salt water becomes good for the skin. Mm -hmm. 
it, it opens up the portals. Yeah. It makes you more sensitive. Mm -hmm. it, it actually cl cleans up your aura. Yes. It, it, and when you do that, no, it's witchcraft. Mm -hmm. It's witchcraft. But, <laughs> but the world comes out of salt waters. Yeah. You were born out of salt waters. Salt waters. Mm -hmm. And therefore, salt itself becomes a covenant of life. Mm -hmm. I, I, I wish you could hear that one. Yeah. Salt becomes a covenant of life because, mm. because the covenants of water, the covenants of salt, and the covenants of blood. Mm. And when you sleep with a woman for the first time, all three happen. You sweat. For the first time. There's water. <laughs> there is blood. <laughs> for the first time. There is salt. Where is the salt? You sweat. Right? So you're sealing a covenant. Mm. So in as much as you might think it's a sexual activity, yeah. but it's actually binding. And someone says, but why, why, why must she's stuck, she's stuck on me? Mm. She's stuck on me. Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. Mm. It was meant to stick. So, so. What did you remember? Yeah, I do. So, I'm going to go to India. We can not over the night. We can not over the night. We can not go to Nambari. I do. No good. You have bonded. <laughs> so, I, okay. Now, this is a controversial one now. Uh, where, what I want to ask. Because. That's where some people argue. Like when Shadaya says, uh, um, you have to marry a virgin, not a non-virgin. Uh, do you agree with those sentiments? And Because I have to bond with my wife uh, more than anything else. Mm -hmm. There is some bonding that is happening. Yeah, that's true. It's difficult for us in the 21st century mm -hmm. to say that uh, out of 10 girls that marry, mm -hmm. uh, 9 out of 10 could be virgins. Mm. We can't even say 5. Yes. I'm, I'm afraid in some certain cases, mm -hmm. out of 10, we may not even find 2. Yeah. And mm. therefore, it, 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 it makes it complicated, Ola. Oh, envelope. But tell me, you go to four times, five times. Ah, put on that sort of tape. You put on that envelope. And I'm just, I'm, I'm using these illustrations yes. in two forms. Mm -hmm. I don't want people who have been married, being non-virgins, mm -hmm. to feel guilty. Yeah. But I think part of our audience are also young girls and boys who have not messed up, mm -hmm. and I don't think we should, it could, it would be fair for us to give a watered message mm -hmm. because we know that the greater population mm -hmm. has messed up. Yeah, true. Let, let me become a responsible exactly. old man. Exactly. And say, can I envelope you said you're mm -hmm. It's actually safer. Yeah. And uh, the, the pastor in me sometimes kicks in. Undi Jacob. Undi Isa. Yes. Uyo Vagwanga in the Asia and the Sonish. Exactly. Right? There's a transaction yeah. in life where if you're not careful, you will trade long-term goals mm. for short-term short -term, pleasure. Yeah, yeah. Number one. Mm -hmm. might seem invisible. Mm. And you are buying something that is visible. And what is visible is perishable. Yeah. What is invisible is imperishable. Mm. And if you are not careful in terms of transacting, uh -huh. Uh -huh. it's invisible. Yeah, true. But the signatures in the spiritual realm, mm -hmm. in the physiological realm, are not visible. Mm -hmm. But the damage is permanent. Mm. You end up as a woman, you end up as a young man with baggage. Yeah. Hey, the people, people do this to me. People mm -hmm. didn't do We're not there. I didn't know what I Yeah. We're not there. Mm. But you're already carrying a baggage. But here's the nice part. The birthright, you can take a soul on a must cut my past three. Soup, you have a soup, you have a soup. soup, you have a thing. I think. <laughs> the better. The better. <laughs> Can I preach on there? Yeah, the yeah. The very yeah. soup that he hey. sold his birthright to. Yes. 
Sunset, Rebecca calls. Come for dinner, come for dinner. Yes. yes. And guess what was dished for mm, mm. the very same soup? Hey. Can, if now when you are reading the book of Ecclesiastes chapter mm. 12, young man, remember your creator in the days of thy youth. Mm -hmm. Before the days of evil come nigh, mm -hmm. when you shall say, I have no pleasure yes. in them. Mm -hmm. Now listen to the preacher. These things you are tempering with now is mm -hmm. teenagers. Yes. Maneru. You are going to get into bed mm -hmm. with a husband and a wife. Hey. And the same energy you wasted in the day, mm -hmm. you discover now here it is. Hey. And it's not running away. Then you hear a woman saying, I have a headache. Mm. He, no, I'm sorry. He, no, I have no pleasure. In exactly. it. I have no pleasure in it. Yeah. Why don't you have pleasure? Mm. Because you have wasted your resources. Yeah. <laughs> We're saying these things with the, as an old man to say, young people, it's it's always valuable mm -hmm. to to preserve yourself. Yeah, that's very very powerful. It's very valuable, and, uh, you know, and it's a gift. Mm -hmm. Give yourself. Yeah, it's not a gift you give to your husband mm -hmm. or to your wife. You give yourself. It's a, it's your gift mm. that you are giving yourself. Mm -hmm. Self preservation. Yeah, is self offering. Mm -hmm. And that wow. I would not want to give my wife anything less mm -hmm. than the best of who I am. Yes. So we just go to one key. Mango sara shuma domo shubiri tattoo. Munoga juane siki. Munoga visa buma tumbu na ma na ma. Magisina. Munoga do chega ma ofarizi. Upangonza to the last bidder. Do you understand like the illustration that other year? Exactly. A bus yes, yes. travels and all passengers are riding this bus for free. Last passenger. Yeah. Ask up and boots up. Hey. Kunti badara full fake vago around. Ah, how? Ah, so what? What? Then the guys in the bus want to attribute Jesus. We go on a trip and show much. One game maga salama rutsi. Amana amana. Mune pe mama window. Hehehehe. Mwa mwa doro. Jesus. Muno nuwa. By a program, you got to respect the last passenger. Exactly. I know it's a hard message, mm -hmm. but respect the last passenger. Yeah. If if at least mm -hmm. the least you can do mm -hmm. is to empty your bus and allow the last passenger mm -hmm. to clean up the bus hey. and mop up the floors. And in this case, is that the the last husband? You know, the and last the, man standing. The last after man you've standing. had fun, you know, with the Shamari, different men. Shamari, and the e, we watch your last passenger. They are the one who must pay Lobola. Yeah, but, but, so, so what, what's your take on that uh, issue of uh, Lobola? Do, 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 do you think it's, no, a, it's, a, it's a good thing? I will be very controversial as usual. There's nothing new. Mm -hmm. The parents must be truthful also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think let's, um, let me take that seat, mm -hmm. which is quite difficult yeah. but truthful. Mm -hmm. It is our responsibility as parents mm -hmm. to, to say the truth. Yeah. When we are sending off our children in marriage. Come you zot magutang is our second end. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a husband or it's a wife. Yes. Let us be honest mm -hmm. in our transactions. Mm-hmm. Kutamukazuti mimi munoda munoda full payment over leftover products. Zamuno siwa kuti uno to wana wana wiri batatu. Yes. Muchaja full full thing. I don't think it's being honest. Mm -hmm. We are, and we we can actually ask and say, why is that we have more than seventy eighty percent divorce mm -hmm. rate mm -hmm. in Zimbabwe? Yeah, I'm not saying this is the only factor, mm. but is it possible no. that this could be one of the factors mm -hmm. that people are buying pigs mm -hmm. in bags? Muskano no sanga na ku town. No good change. I think was kind of but I think that I am not sure what I am saying. I think that I am not sure what I am I Pakundu wata paya wigi ka visi wege huwapu. Mm -hmm. 
I don't <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we have items, Mangan. Hey, if a person cannot accept you mm -hmm. for who you are, yeah. then don't lie for me to accept you mm -hmm. only to, to end up asking me to accept you as you are. Yes. When you never showed me who you are. Mm -hmm. Th then I think you're making it more complicated. Yeah, so true. We, with a generation, it's not only for girls, even boys also, mm -hmm. who lie like they have money. They lie they're like they have cars. They go and rent out cars. Mm -hmm. They try to impress people. Of course. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> 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 But uh, but in in short, um uh, uh, Ponga, do you think men should pay a bride price? I think they pay bride price. It's known as Rovora. Nichikaranga, it's an insurance policy. Insurance policy. Where the cows that you are contributing, mm -hmm. some of them mm -hmm. are for the parents and kweduksi ndeweroku imwe ngombe yacho hadzi ndeya mai imwe ndiyo mwana mkomana uchabere kwa kunenda msikana uyu right for the next 18 years sekuru vanofana kurera ngombe yoyo mkomana unozo we after 18 years uzo tina danga all right kutatanga upenyu wake in our old ways it was a way of spreading risk and a way of connecting families. Okay. A way of, uh, and in fact, the younger thing about Aurora, Ola. Yeah. I, I think I'm getting older also. Can also not marry. Why poor Gombo? Bush. Zap. Unzi Rima. Tura San Rako. Kidi. 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 Zura Mitiako Yosi. Exact. Urima. Upuang is a Rima Nazo. Nichi Karanga Javi. Right. 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 Very hopeless now mm -hmm. that we have converted the whole practice into a cash society. Yeah, so where it's about paper and money. Yeah, exactly. and, and, we have have lost, lost, and we have lost the meaning mm -hmm. of putting relationships together. Mm, uh, that's uh, so profound. So, what advice do you have, you know, for viewers who may be uh, struggling with decisions? Uh, you know, um, when it comes, I mean, to love, um, relationships, marriage, and family. I am a poor advisor when it comes to things of uh, love and marriages. Mm -hmm. But I would give you an ancient, an ancient uh, template which will prove to be very successful. Mm -hmm. It is that when it comes to love and marriages, a woman must never marry a man. A woman must marry the estate. Mm -hmm. 
of the men. Kana chuda kumidisi wana mkuma na ida ndo kumidisi la pam pamunda pavo. All right. Pam shapako. Kwete kwa u. Ako na kuma 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 regotera. Uh-huh. No kuma brute mota. <laughs> Ama brute mota. <laughs> inda ano inda ano midisi gua pam sha pumurumu ako. Right. Because the, your actions that you are doing mm-hmm. are going to need that ground. Mm-hmm. Hence, I always say every man must have two wives. Every man. Yeah. One wife is not enough. Mm-hmm. The first wife is land. Mm-hmm. Then the next wife is the one that bears children. Mm-hmm. So you must make sure this wife is pregnant first. Right. Before this one is pregnant. Wow. Powerful. And our women must learn to love land mm-hmm. more than they love husbands. Because that is the estate. And so, if a woman is given land, a woman will build you an empire. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I, 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 can, I cannot say it louder than that. Yeah. That if you have a problem with the relationships, then understand the system mm-hmm. that brings the relationship together. Yeah, the, but the, uh, the, the in-laws. You mentioned about two wives, mm-hmm. land and the actual wife. Mm-hmm. And, and the, uh, the actual wife is the second wife. The second wife, yeah, mm-hmm. of, of course. As a cultured man, and I know you, you, you are well much into this, you know, culture. Um, what's your take on polygamy itself? The Bible does not condemn it. Mm-hmm. The community society does not condemn it. Mm-hmm. And actually, on the same wavelength, I've never understood how blacks can be convinced that homosexuality is right, mm-hmm. but polygamy is wrong. Mm-hmm. Doesn't make sense to me. When in fact the Bible would condemn one. Mm-hmm. even to a mo- moment of death mm. and stoning. And then it says to David, How? why did you take Uriah's wife? If you needed another one, I would have given you another mm. one. And he had eight. <laughs> Solomon had 700, plus 300 extra. Uh-huh. Abraham had three. You know, Jacob had four. Mm-hmm. Even Jesus' father, Joseph, mm-hmm. had two that oh. we can account for. Really? He had Mary. Uh-huh. And Jesus had elder brothers mm-hmm. and elder sisters. They are recorded in the Bible. So how can they mm. be older than Jesus? Mm. And yet Mary was a virgin <laughs> who gave birth to Jesus. So it's just... <laughs> and, and people say, no, no the, the Joseph's wife had died. And got, no, the Bible does not say she... Agafa. We were only told that he had children. Mm-hmm. So you are imposing yourself on the text. My, my uh, older woman alive. Right? What do you lose? But again, you understand when the writing of the Bible... Mm-hmm that the culture of the British, mm-hmm. the monogamous culture of mm. the British, which is a backdrop yeah. of pornography mm-hmm. and yes. halotry. Yes, yes, yes. As of April, first three months, mm-hmm. America alone was already looking at about 3.6 billion mm. in terms of pornography. Yes. But on the front side, we're being told that it's a monogamous community. Yeah, so maybe no, let's, it's let's, not. Maybe let's zoom in a little bit and say, mm-hmm. who is consuming this content? Yeah, yeah. Pornography. So it is a monogamy mm-hmm. in front of the church and in front of the community mm-hmm. and society and in front of the law. Right. But it is not functional. Mm. Because what happens in brothels, what happens in closed doors in the mm-hmm. PDD mm-hmm. parties, mm-hmm. what happens yes. in, in the backdrop. Hey, it's shocking. Then you find ministers you find government officials. Yes. You yes. find responsible people we thought were responsible citizens in mm, the society. Mm, mm. They're in there. Yeah. And then you ask yourself, what, what are they doing there? Yes. And the whole media right now is going, it's, it's, it's losing shocking. its head yeah, it's over those videotapes yeah. that uh, Didi has in his room. Mm. Because then, when you look at what people practice, vis-a-vis what people teach. Yeah, it's totally different. So maybe I can Opposite. ask you the truth. Mm. Is do people talk monogamy? and practice polygamy or do people talk polygamy and practice monogamy <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a tricky one uh, it's a very big uh, question <laughs> 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 so it's a very tricky one uh, it's a very big question so it's a very big question so it's a very big Right. You actually in the polyandrous polygamous relationship. Not over four. In some certain cases, that's deep. That's deep. That's deep. 
Uya ashindu tuna mari. Uno uzizo. Ah, gaga. <laughs> this is powerful. This is honest. Now that's deep. This is honest stuff. And ah. I, I don't know who I was going to say it. Exactly. Maybe let me be the bearer of the news. Yeah, of course, of course, hey. of course. Because you can't be maintaining the child. You know, then Baba Raji. You know, it's just, it's, it's a mess. We are in the end of Will Smith. Why is it entanglement? Entanglement? I've been a beast. 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 Uyu wewe ni boyfriend yake, uyu ni girlfriend, uyu ni boyfriend yake, ani makaramba na. Uyu akasara kaita dzani tabu. Saka munona kuti you community of maybe the messiah right. Could no man own the woman. Yeah. Women women own themselves. And they own their children. As men you just visit ungoshika pa mbozwa wese opfuma ra kozo. Wenda zvikopa na ndindirimo. Nyanga ari mukadzi wako yakwa hona pfumo ripaji. You may laugh, but some I think some issues that we are battling with in life, the solutions could be not be far from where we are. Mm. And if women really wanted rights, maybe let's the whole issue of marriage maybe is it's overrated. Mm. It's overrated. Yeah. Because even Adam and Eve, I don't remember when they got married. Yeah. But I think, honestly speaking, the issue of marriage in its sacredness, mm -hmm. uh, the Bible does not prescribe mm -hmm. ultimately a dogmatic way mm -hmm. of ultimatums mm. it actually shows tolerance yes to to the to what we might condemn now mm. so i could conclude and say why do we condemn the polygamy mm -hmm. what god condones right and why do we condemn your homosexuality god, yes what god condemns, condemns. Yes. so at the end of the day as a church and as a community we must look around at ourselves and say do we love what god loves do we tolerate what god tolerates mm -hmm. Do we hate what God hates? Do we tolerate what God tolerates mm, also? Mm. So we might find ourselves that actually we have not become religiously truthful interpreters of scripture, mm -hmm. but rather become politically correct mm -hmm. and theologically yes, defunct. Yes, yes. Hey, that's, uh, that's very, very, very deep. I, mean, uh -huh. I have a better understanding. You must have sex marriage. I said when a dog, two male dogs are, are playing, mm. when it's time for mating, yeah. they never get confused. They know where to go. But our present youth no longer know the difference between male and female. Ah, ah. So Maponga said we are, we are dogs. Mm. Because, ah, ah. Listen to illustration. Exactly. You, you, dogs are not even there. Exactly. <laughs> Because they're not confused. Exactly. The illustration was used in that. Yes. I was saying, in the animalistic instincts, mm. even of dogs, mm. they still have a sense of yeah. male and female. Of course. But when our young men, boys and girls, no longer know the difference mm. between mm. a male and a female, mm. then we have a fundamental problem. And by the way, alternative lifestyles must be left as alternative lifestyles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't take alternative lifestyles to temper with the center of the community, yes. which is husband and wife. Mm -hmm. Because that's where even homosexuals and lesbians yeah. are born are from born there. From, yes. And if we put a hundred homosexuals mm -hmm. on an island, and we put a hundred couples on an island, and we visit these islands in 30 years or 40 years, mm. we'll find one island full of graves. Yes. Death of humanity. Graves. Graves. No more, mm. no new... Bond. Death of humanity. Yeah. It is a dead end mm. in the manure republic. Mm. <laughs> if you come on this other side, you are going to find a vibrant community. Mm. Living, producing, and growing. Mm. And if we as old people should be watching this thing happening, yeah. and we seem to say, let us replace mm the center of human existence yes. with alternative lifestyles. Mm -hmm. 
Have we not contributed also to the destruction the of human yeah. nature? Yeah. So I'm talking here at a very, very steady old man's space. Yeah. And I'm saying if I was given an opportunity to live, mm -hmm. the children that are in our loins must also be given an opportunity mm -hmm. to live. Yeah, that's, uh, that's powerful. And um, let, let, let's address, you know... Um, and we quote, 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 and So let, let's, let's address, you know, I want you to maybe address um, the controversies that are surrounding your version of uh, Christianity and how it differs from the mainstream uh, beliefs. In my own reading and understanding, the Bible is a colonized book. The text itself. Mm -hmm. Because it does not find itself in its original environment, with its original authors, with its original history, mm -hmm. and being practiced by the people who wrote the book. Right. Just even the illustration we're talking about in mm -hmm. terms of polygamy. Yes. The people who understand polygamy in the whole world mm -hmm. are the owners of the text. Mm -hmm. And those who don't understand polygamy, stay away from the Bible. Yeah. Because it's not your book. Mm -hmm. A brother dies, and God Himself mm -hmm. says to Onan, Go and sleep with your brother's wife mm -hmm. so that his generation will not die. Yes. <laughs> Onan goes there and he withdrew and spilled on the ground. Ha. And the Bible says, And God killed him. Which nation, which nation on the face of the earth understands the brother can go? If you find those people, they are the owners of the text. Mm. Abraham yeah. says to his servant, Eliaza, go and look for a wife for my, for my son. Mm -hmm. And he is the dowry. You must go and give to that family. Yes. And bring me a wife. For my son. Mm -hmm. Walk around the world. The culture that pays dowry mm -hmm. are the owners of the text. Mm. So you I could go, I could go on yeah. for a couple of illustrations. Mm -hmm. But immediately you, you allow people that don't even understand the text. Mm -hmm. It's geographical, which we call in theology the system level, mm. who don't understand the context mm -hmm. of the text. They make pretexts mm. of the text and then write dogma over their extrapolations of what I might call theological gymnastics, mm. <laughs> which have nothing to do with theology itself. <laughs> and then they produce young pastors and preachers mm. who are excited and they think they're preaching the gospel mm -hmm. when in fact they're preaching white culture. Hey, I don't do culture. Mm -hmm. I don't do culture. Ajungo Pedro is having a white wedding. What are you doing? Then he said, ah, so what's the difference mm -hmm. between an African wedding <laughs> and then being a cultural wedding exactly, and a white wedding uh -huh. being a white cultural wedding? Wedding. So which culture don't you do? Mm. Because both of them are cultures. Like there's an identity crisis there. My interpretation, therefore, understanding that King James was one of the first revolutionaries, mm -hmm. Now, follow me very carefully. Why, why, why do you say so? Because he took a Jewish book, a Hebrew book, mm -hmm. an Ethiopian book, into Britain. Mm -hmm. Took the Yahuwah, mm -hmm. Yahshua, named him Jesus. Took Yohan, named him John. John. Took Israel, made it Israel. Polluted Mary, Martha, Luke, John, Paul. Colonized all the names from the Old Testament to the New Testament. In other words, you're saying the names Matthew, John, Luke, they do not exist. Go to Israel today, you'll never find a person called John, Matthew, Mark, unless they've come from Europe and they're visiting. Mm. But traditionally, those names are not there in the Hebrew culture. Even the Jesus name? Jesus is not the Jesus is only 500 years old. Huh? He was cooked now now by the Catholic. Do actually when you are doing this, do mm -hmm. your research. Mm -hmm. Go and find out when did the letter J first appear on the alphabet. Put it as an insert mm -hmm. at the bottom of this so people can understand you are not just thumb sucking. Yeah. Even Jesus himself never had that name. 
being called to him. Mm. Mary, Mary is in now if she would wake up and she hears that she had a son called Jesus, she would be shocked. Because she takam wana kupiga Jesus. Ha tu mzivi na nyaye mae mae aba mzivi. You said ainza ni Jesus. Yahua. Yahua. Yeshua. Yeshua. Oh Yeshua. Oh Isa. Anything like that. Do you want to get Yes. But you you you're telling me you're giving me about four names. Why four names? I'm giving names? you Aramaic. I'm giving you Archaic Hebrew. I'm mm-hmm. giving you some um, come on. And again that which code. Then this is go. Then ungu pa kuti. Oh these are his names. The, actually the best name we can use for him mm-hmm. is the Isaiah name. Isaiah. No. The Isaiah she, name. She shall bear a son and his name shall be Emmanuel. Okay. Yeah. That's the So which means God is with us. Mm-hmm. Can I do some theology there? Yeah. If God is with us. Mwa. Ari. Mwa. Ari. Mwa. Ri. Mm-hmm. The one inside us. Mm-hmm. Right? Now there we are as Karanga people. Mm-hmm. How can we be introduced to a foreign? Now you're asking about my interpretation. I don't want you to miss that person, mm-hmm. that question. Yeah. Now if King James was able to take a book into his own environment mm-hmm. and doctor it and change names and everything requirements. even mm. writing things in there slaves obey your masters mm. and if you beat a slave as long as you don't kill them it's okay mm. and wherever your feet will go i'll give you that land yeah wow if that is true then tomorrow morning me and you ola let's believe in jesus mm-hmm. let's walk up to london and every land that we our feet touch mm-hmm. we own that land Possible. That's where colonialism comes in because if you don't believe in the text of the Bible then me who believes in the Bible mm-hmm. I have the right of taking over your land. Yeah. So we actually colonized because of the same the very same book. Hence I say this classically clear that the god of the master and the god of the slave are never the same. Mm. Because your god cannot allow you to come to my house to kill me, mm-hmm. to rape my wife. Yeah. Make my children your slaves mm-hmm. and God is happy. Right now you cannot control Israel. Ask me why? Yeah. Because they say we are children of God. We are above mm. the United Nations. Mm. We are above the Bible. We have a right of killing Palestinians. Oh. Yes. Because actually in the Old Testament we were told to go and kill them and we didn't finish them. Mm-hmm. And now they are still giving us the problem. So we let's must finish. Let's finish them. We must finish what our forefathers started. Now when you don't understand these things and I will say this nicely. Mm. And I hope you can catch it Ola. Yeah. I'm going to throw a big stone at you. Yeah. By becoming a Christian you are a Zionist by default. <laughs> because you cannot you cannot fight Israel. Because you believe in the Bible. Exactly. And you believe that they are the chosen. Exactly. And you also want to become chosen like the Israelites. Mm. So whatever the Israelis are doing, you, you are must support exactly. them. Exactly. Because the Bible that you believe in it's supporting also the Israel. calls you the spiritual Israel. So how can you oppose the physical Israel when you actually admire to become a spiritual uh, Israel? This is the mental brain what you are talking about. So mm. when you ask me how do I interpret this thing? I will take the Bible. Mm-hmm. And I would also want to do what King James did. <laughs> and bring the Bible here. And put Chaminuk is our prophet. Right? Who walked with us the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. And the ego that led us to the great Zimbabwe. Mm-hmm. And rewrite the biblical text in our own context. Crossing the Z River Zambezi. Mm-hmm. That is our Red Sea. Yes. Walking up the you can you be, by the way you'll be very fascinated to read the Shona story mm-hmm. of how food was supplied. How Chaminuga would walk up into the forests mm-hmm. and harvest animals and feed. How they would pray for the rain and etc. And this story needs to be told. Yeah. Because if the British yeah. Yeah. were able mm-hmm. to contaminate the Bible mm-hmm. to an extent of colonizing even God himself. Yes. What makes you think maybe I was too young when mm-hmm. Kenan Banana wrote his own Bible? Mm-hmm. You would you would have supported him. I would have wanted to engage him now. I think I'm grown up now. Mm. Because it's only then we can uproot these elements yeah. of slavery, mm-hmm. of abuse, the abuse of women. Mm-hmm. You, can, you cannot tell me that I can I must believe in the Bible that tells me that 60% of the women mentioned in the Bible are prostitutes and harlots. Mm. Jezebel. Women are created as an afterthought of God. Mm. No, then Adam was walking lonely. In the garden, ah, Maruka, ah, we forgot something. It's not good. <laughs> we need to be alone. You need to put a wife there. Now, how can you even begin to believe in a God who makes mistakes? Mm. A God who. But, 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 Mr. Apoka, do you believe in the Bible? Do you believe in the Bible? First question I'll ask you Does the Bible believe in me? Does the Bible have my story? 
as a human being or as you're asking me as a human being so i'm saying does the bible have my story and but I, you know i'll help you mm-hmm. let me not complicate it for you there are two things you must always keep in mind ola there's the bible which is a collection of african afrocentric mm-hmm. hebrew centered books into the ethiopian bible mm-hmm. which made their way into the catholic bible mm-hmm. into the vulgates and etc and from there into the british bible mm-hmm. which is now the king james version yeah and then translated into the martin luthers and the gutenbergs and etc and then you have more than 3 4 5000 mm-hmm. translations right now of the same text mm. now having said that the catholics are the best because they donated the bible to the world mm. but their bible is even better than your bible their bible is 88 books 88 yes yours has 66 books mm-hmm. and then timothy says all scripture mm-hmm. is god breathed yeah not all bible mm-hmm. so scripture is a body of spiritual literature mm-hmm. which will include even the other books books as well which the modern christian mm-hmm. bible excludes mm-hmm. let me make it complicated for you then the bible quotes the book of jasher quotes the book of jeroboam and second jeroboam mm-hmm. quotes the book of enoch and then we are told not to read the book of enoch but because they, it is not inspired but it's quoting but the bible is quoting an uninspired book and the bible becomes inspired so there's a big difference ola mm. for the first time you're in class now mm. there's a difference between the bible and scriptures mm. the bible says all scripture yeah is god breathed mm-hmm. But you're asking me do I believe in the Bible? <laughs> By believing in the Bible, I don't think I believe in the Bible. Mm-hmm. I believe in scriptures. Scriptures. What's your take on churches that, that, that don't, you know, uh, read Bible? Maybe they are allowed to do that mm-hmm. according to the book of Psalm 18 because there are two books we must read. Mm-hmm. The first book is the Cathedral of Nature. Mm-hmm. The heavens declare Right? the glory of the lord mm-hmm. night after night they whisper wisdom and there's no day or night mm-hmm. with the trees the firmament the all nature speaks and then, and then there's a written word mm-hmm. so if you can read the first book right you still be saved mm-hmm. because that's where our forefathers were yeah our forefathers were able to look into the sky and mm-hmm. tell we're going to have winter this year yeah we're going to have locusts this year mm. it's going to rain Yeah. Oh, old women would look at a woman coming a mile away and mm-hmm. say that one is pregnant. Yeah. They would be able to look at herbs and so can you say they were uneducated? They could read. Mm. Unfortunately now we can read books. Yes. yes. But we can't read nature. That's why the tsunami killed so many people. Hey. Because animals walked up the mountains mm-hmm. when they heard the tremors. Yeah. Under their feet. Mm-hmm. Why? Because they are, they are earthed yeah. on the ground. Imaka wata pa mbed. Mm-hmm. Mnama mitris. Mnama spring. Nika iri kuzenge nyika panyasa. Aba mavakuru ndo yera pasa achitonzwa kuti zvikufamba sei. Vachiwa mutsindo uri kuitika nyasu. Unono baka vapalamira musha. Pane ndo vachitonzwa kuti kune chiri kuuya. So we have become more yeah. readers and less understand less perceptive people. Mm. We we read so much. Hence the Bible even says you re, you always reading mm. but never coming to understanding. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let, let, let me uh, quote one of your many statements on God and humans. Uh, you said Does God need humans or do humans need God? Who can live without the other? If humans do not know God, will he or she live? If God wants to interact with humans, why does he hide in the spiritual realm beyond the visibility of humans? If humanity is such a mess, why not just kill us all and be at peace uh, with yourself and the devil? Close God. So Mr. Ponga in your view <laughs> what role <laughs> does faith play in addressing these you know exi- existential uh, questions about God and um, humanity you are moving into a very deep end mm-hmm. when you're asking these questions <laughs> was I'll be having these arguments in very technical spaces yeah was when you say <clears throat> as a matter of um, debate mm-hmm. So if human beings don't know God does he stop existing No And if he wants to be known 
then why is he hiding? <laughs> and does God exist because people talk about him? Or God exists because he has always been there? Mm -hmm. I'll process it for you slowly. The existence of God must not only be understood from a Eurocentric perspective, mm -hmm. which places a white man with beard mm -hmm. sitting in the heavens, in the clouds. <laughs> that whole <laughs> the, the white man. of a male God. Uh -huh. When you are just about to understand him, mm -hmm. they throw another spanner into the works. A, a white Jesus, <laughs> who is also male. Right. Just when you thought you understood it, then they throw another spanner again. <laughs> the Holy Spirit, another male. And then you almost have the, like this, this, this gay party of three males mm -hmm. that are in the heavenly spaces. And yeah. women are not included mm -hmm. altogether. Yeah. So you begin to deal with this Abrahamic faith. Mm. Uh, Islam, Judaism, and uh, Christianity. Mm -hmm. And their relationship when it comes to women issues. Mm -hmm. Therefore, God, the God factor is the Emmanuel factor. Mm -hmm. Where we cannot look for him out there. Let me preach for you. Mm -hmm. The kingdom of heaven is in you. It's not my words. Mm -hmm. I and my father are one. I am in him. He is in me. Mm. I am in you. You are in me. me. He who has seen me has seen the father. Mm -hmm. and, and, and beautiful passages. Mm -hmm. So the kingdom of heaven is in you. Yeah. Then the worst of them all. Matthew 6, 38. Mm -hmm. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven mm -hmm. and his righteousness. Yeah. And all these things will be added unto you. Now here's my theology. Mm. Since the first passage says the kingdom is in you. Mm -hmm. Underline. And now this one says seek ye first mm -hmm. the kingdom. Which we have already been told the address. Mm -hmm. Where it is. You. So how will that read to me? Find yourself. Develop righteousness within you. Mm. And all these things that you are looking for will be worked on from the inside of your understanding the divinity that resides inside you. Mm. Christianity is afraid of that. But we are not embarrassed to quote that yeah. your bodies are the temples mm. of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. We are not embarrassed to say, accept Jesus as your personal savior mm -hmm. into your heart. Yes. We, so we say one thing, but when it comes to practice, we scared. Then mm. some 82 then just throws mud on your face. Know you not that you are God's. But because you don't know such things, you're going to die like common men. Mm. Yeah, it's powerful. So, That's deep. But a white man will not teach you that theology. Mm -hmm. Because it will make you superior. Okay. It, it will boost your ego. Mm -hmm. It will make you stand and say, I am. Mm -hmm. I am. Yeah. And if I should discover that I am, and if the African should discover that he is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What will the white man do with the slaves? <laughs> what will he do with the spirit of Kunta Kinte mm. that now refuses to bow down? <laughs> because all of a sudden, when you tell people who they are, maybe Christianity actually thrives in uh -huh. slavery. Mm -hmm. It thrives in broken spirits. It thrives in sinners. Hey, mm -hmm. you're a sinner. You have no good. God doesn't. So people actually go to church to kneel down yeah. and to lie on the ground. Mm. What happened to People standing up and looking up and lifting up their hands. So now, how can individuals find peace or purpose, you know, um, amidst the uncertainty about God's I, I know I'm speaking to a great number of Christians, so I'll keep on coming back mm -hmm. so that I build a nice bridge. Yeah. The book of uh, Jeremiah, I hope you put the verse down there. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah then... God says to Jeremiah, <laughs> before you were born, I knew you. Mm -hmm. I formed you and I shaped you. Mm -hmm. And I placed you in your mother's womb. And I appointed you to become a prophet to the people. Mm. Now, question. So who did God know? Whom did God fashion? Mm -hmm. Whom did God place? What kind of a relationship did God have with Jeremiah mm. prior to his existence? Yeah. To an extent that actually God confirms mm. that your existence in your mother's womb was a secondary platform Ay. to my primary knowledge. Mm. You're mm -hmm. asking me a very fundamental question. Yeah. How do we find purpose? Mm. 
Maybe we need the blueprint of the conversation, or let me say it nicely, we need the blueprint of the divine conversation. Divine conversation. Prior to conception. Mm -hmm. We need those knots. Because that's where our identity lies. Mm -hmm. And that's where our womb was identified. Mm -hmm. And that's where the purpose of our existence was drafted. Prior to your birth. Mm. You don't find purpose. You realize it. Yeah. Because it, it already comes mm -hmm. packaged with the placement in your mother's womb. So prior to you now, hey, how do you find the purpose in life? How do you find the purpose in Hey, you don't have to find purpose. Yeah. Hence, I always tell people, to know yourself, you need to go back. Ask your mother, who is my mother? Mm -hmm. Ask your mother, who is my father? Mm -hmm. Ask your, mother, your father, who is my grandfather? Mm -hmm. Ask your grandmother, who is my grandmother? Because the more you understand mm -hmm. of where you are coming from, yes. you will know the DNA mm. that flows into you. Yes. Hence, even the presentation of Yaswa mm. says, this is the son of Joseph. Who is the son of Boaz? Yeah. Who is the son of who is the son of David? Who is the son of Solomon? Son of, son of Perez? Son of... But it's just a good thing. I'm not going to say that. They become, you know, all of a sudden, what are you? And if your ancestors are demons, then what are you? I'm asking you. If you, your grandfather is a demon, mm -hmm. then what are you? A demon as well. Waiting to become. Yeah, of course. So do you see how theology actually makes and destroys our self-esteem? Yeah, yeah. So imagine in the back of your head, mm -hmm. though you don't want to admit it, by calling your grandfather, mm. in the back of your head, you know, but, but, but my you, question, you already you know, 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 you know, you know, always, why is it like, as an abundance of our own, why is it when you go apply what is especially so Africa? No, it also the black community say, I'm not sure what I'm saying. 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 I'm not sure this one is Sose. From the royal house of Sose. Now, can I do my And in my situation, it's a royal bloodline. Right. And you want me to curse <laughs> the royal bloodline? My ancestry. Mm. To please who? And by becoming a Christian, do I lose my blood, my no. DNA of who no. I am? But to make it easier for you, Ola, the theology that reduces Africans to animals, it's very convenient mm -hmm. for colonialism. Mm -hmm. Because once you reduce their self-esteem mm -hmm. to a certain level, yeah. they're easier to manage, to lift up. Mm. They're able to be subdued as slaves. Yeah. And you can even find those Bibles that the Americans were designing how to enslave a Negro, mm. a Negro Bible. It's all a project. Yeah, it's a project. It's all a project. Mm. If I would really, if I would come back to church, I think it would be totally different. Mm. Because wherever slaves are mentioned, I would not call them. I would not call them as Africans. Exactly. Wherever glory is mentioned, mm -hmm. let me give you a nice one, a nice takeaway. Mm -hmm. Go and read it for yourself. Mm -hmm. And God planted the garden east of Eden. Mm -hmm. Go slowly. So number one, there's nothing called the Garden of Eden. God planted a garden <laughs> east east of Eden. Right? So we need to identify Eden first. Before the garden. Life was not in the garden. Uh -huh. Life was in Eden. Eden. Then you are told the river Nile, which is right here in Uganda. Mm -hmm. So first marker right there. Then you're told oh, that. So where is Eden? Africa. I'm, I'm, I don't know if you read your Bible. <laughs> <laughs> and if, if, that does, if that cannot make an African yes. begin to say, but maybe, maybe we are the people. Exactly. <laughs> maybe we actually, we, we are in Eden, hence the word Alkeblan. Mm. As opposed to Africanos. Alkeblan means the mother of humankind. Yes. The mother, the, 
the mother, the Al-Kebla means Eden, mm -hmm. the, 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 the residence yeah. of godliness. Mm -hmm. And when you look at the way the Abangoni, the people who don't dwell yeah. in the things of sin and mm -hmm. corruption and evil. Mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. But the Makara, the, the light, the knowledge, the wisdom, and the healing, the Nga, mm -hmm. the spirit that heals. Ka is the and you begin to look at it and say, maybe we're actually not what the white man mm. has told us to be. And remember, we are still coming out of that problem, Ola. Yeah. Because it's only in the last 50, 60 years yeah. that the African finally has been approved that he has a soul. <laughs> we classified as animals. We classified as animals. And, and, and what makes me angry sometimes is our young people yeah. who are so quick to argue, mm -hmm. but so slow to research. Yes. And who are going to talk about Naro? Hey, my brother, no penga, no penga. But when I saw the door, ah, what did you bring here? I'm picturing. I'm going to swear in the Oga. And because if you can understand why did the white man struggle, because mm -hmm. the does not have a soul. Yeah. And why are why are white people so eager to place themselves in black history mm. in the Bible and call themselves the son, sons of Shem. Yeah. Because they want Jesus to be born through the house of Shem. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it is the white race that rescues the black people. Mm -hmm. So it's theologically, it's theologically convenient to make the African a footnote mm -hmm. on his own history. When in fact, he's the subject matter of the very history. Well, back where you started. Because the culture of the same text is not your culture, white mm -hmm. man. Sit down. In fact, it is you, the Europeans, mm -hmm. who are the Romans, and you, the Jews, who killed, <laughs> who killed this man you call Jesus. Jesus. So why are we Africans feeling guilty for the death of Jesus, yet we are not involved? Which again <laughs> brings me to this question. So, in other words, you don't agree with this uh, notion or statement the, uh, he died for our sins. It's not our sins. So pastors, prophets, and whoever, you know, preaching this gospel saying, he died for our sins. I, I, so it's, it's never our sins. I think you need to come and call me for another session altogether. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Totally different. Mm -hmm. Where we can just maybe do theology. Yeah. And I would want to put my cards on the table. Mm -hmm. Because well, should I start discussing the concept of Jesus dying for our sins, <laughs> we are entering a space of total witchcraft. And, <laughs> I, and I, I don't think people are ready for to, that. To, to have that conversation. Yeah. Because you do sacrifices in uh, African culture mm -hmm. world over. There are more than 81 gods mm -hmm. do a research who all consumed blood. Yes. We ate blood mm -hmm. in various spaces, yeah. including vampires, mm -hmm. including uh, you know satanists, and including you know yeah. gore stuff. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, the God of the Bible is not excluded mm -hmm. from that list. Why? Because throughout the whole Old Testament, mm -hmm. he is eating animals, yes. sheep, and goats. Mm -hmm. And now you want to ask yourself the question: If this God is the one who created these animals? Why is he eating them? Mm -hmm. Why would the one who created the lamb with all its innocence be happy to see the same lamb throat mm -hmm. and life taken out of it? Mm. And then God is happy. Yeah. And then even the Bible says when they were burning the lamb on the altar, it, re it, it, it reached his nostrils mm. like a sweet aroma. Mm. You almost have a picture of a smiling God <laughs> when <laughs> animals are dying. Yeah. And it's the same Bible mm. where he says, do not offer your child to any gods mm -hmm. as a sacrifice. Yeah. Manasseh tried it. For whoever does these things mm -hmm. is an abomination before God. Yes, yes. It's him mm. saying so. Yeah. Jiggy jig. You're in the New Testament. For God so loved the world. That, that, that he killed his own son. <laughs> and you ask yourself, who needs the blood? Mm. The sinner? The devil? Or God? Hey. And if once we identify that person, what are they going to do with the blood? Mm -hmm. So the whole thing of human sacrifice becomes a subject mm. that needs to be discussed fully well. Is this a God-designed plan? Is this a Greco-Roman Gothic 
culture mm -hmm. of human sacrifice mm -hmm. that made its way to the Bible is this concept of killing a Messiah become a revolution. Mm -hmm. How many other Messiahs have died in the history? Mm -hmm. You can find in the books of Kemet a dozen over Messiahs from Hinduism mm -hmm. to Zoroastrianism to Kemetic. The whole concept of a man who had 12 disciples yeah. is written on the walls of Egypt mm -hmm. thousands of years before even the Messiah was born. Yes. The concept of a Virgin Mary, thousands of years before even Mary was born. Mm. The man of walking on the water, thousands of years before even Jesus walked on water. Mm. So you begin to read the book of uh, the, the Kemet. Yeah. And you read the Bible. And this is older than this. Yeah. So the question is who was copying from who? Mm. In the conclusion... When he was chased away from uh, from uh, from uh, Palestine, mm -hmm. go to go to Egypt. They are going to kill you. Yeah. Herod is going to kill you. Mm -hmm. And this is the same Herod who was at war with John the Baptist. Mm. Now follow me very carefully. I'm going to throw you under the bus okay. now, now. Okay. Follow carefully. Yeah. So he goes then lives for twelve years, learning from Egypt. He was just learning for twelve years. There was no synagogue there. Mm -hmm. He went there. With Joseph and Mary went to Egypt. Mm -hmm. Here to Africa. If yeah. you cross Zambezi and you cross Congo River, mm -hmm. you're in the Nile. You're already in Egypt. Egypt. There are three rivers from here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so right. Jesus grew up here. Yeah. Yeah. We gave him to the world. Mm -hmm. We, the Africans. But that's for another day. So he studies for 12 years in Egypt. Right. <laughs> Right, I did them in the Nile River, Muno, Africa. Uh -huh. So don't 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 pontificate this. Right, this, if he was a young boy, mm -hmm. then he did what the young boys were doing. Mm. So there's no there's no reason to become emotional. But here's the beautiful part. Then the angel says, "Go back now. The man who killed, who wanted to kill Jesus, is now dead. Herod. All right, and this is the Herod." Who killed John the Baptist? Mm -hmm. So the fact that he is now dead means that John the Baptist has died. Mm -hmm. Lo and behold, when Jesus starts his ministry, mm -hmm. who baptizes him? John the Baptist. But Herod died. <laughs> and before he died, he killed John the Baptist. <laughs> so I perhaps he does not cost. He does not add up in China. He does not add up. Now he must resurrect John the Baptist and uh, resurrect Herod to come and meet Jesus, who is coming uh, from Egypt. And, I, and for a scholar, for a scholar, <laughs> you, you, you want me to you want me to become particular uh, and, and you want me to become meticulous? It's now it's now deep. Herod. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> oh, now it's now complicated. From the way you are No, no, no. I, I'm, I'm like, ah, chwega, Apostle Ah, I don't, ah, I don't know. Uh, I will wait for his comeback. But uh, from what you are saying, Chakanzo is with the John the Baptist. Is it John the John Johan Babatids? Dia ga Babatidsa Jesus. Eh, but who is it? Jordan. Jordan. According to that book, as well, which is the older version of the newer version, John the Baptist, Aganga Afa. Walk downstairs. Right. Tell me anything that you want. Exactly. And then the child, the child went to the, to the mother's kitchen. I know I want the head of John the Baptist. Exactly. And they cut the head of John the Baptist. Uh -huh. And then the book then says, and John the Baptist, uh -huh. and he became rotten and he right. died. Uh -huh. then the death of John, uh, the death of Herod. Uh -huh. Then the message goes, to Egypt. Herod is now dead. So now he can come back. So, but Herod, before he died, he killed John. John, yeah. And then he died. But later on, we, we, we hear that John then baptized Jesus. Shimbo explain also from But <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's now even complicated. But guys, I thought maybe yeah. Like I said earlier, food for thought. I mean, not know which to cheat this episode, but um, I'm sure you all learning guys uh, from. Um, should I say no? Your your correct title is it Doctor Papong, right? 
Atakadari kana tinongo pua zuma doctori jiza. Suna basi. Rado ni mudara wa gona. Mudara maponga. It's okay. I'm, I'm happy. Mudara maponga. And we are learning a lot from from him. We're having this uh, conversation. And it's easy. Yeah. We, are, we want to help young people mm-hmm. develop critical thinking. Yeah, yeah, true. It's one thing to hear people, even the issue I'm raising now. Yes. No, just just sit down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dana yabafu ndi zwenyu mosi. Wow, yeah. Nama archbishop mosi. Yes. Timbo tse za shakanaka. I, I think our next episode uh, uh, mm. I'm going to I mean ask you again uh, to come back then have a versus with another you know probably a priest a pastor kuti timbo yazoti tidzi donzera ni bichana eh tite kaleke ka kamonera pamwe i don't know when my au imune enyu i'm sure zvichati zvichati nakidza but uh, moving on you once said in the court When you finally break away from the chains of religion, so many chains of guilt fall off your shoulders. Mm. Uh, the only pain is from those who don't want you to be free. Plus God. And you know, this reminds me of um, uh, this story of Mazwaba Ishmael, uh, who made headlines since March. I'm not sure if you have uh, read, you know, I just heard it in yeah, passing. Yeah, my story is Mazwaba Ishmael. He was leading some, you know, um church um nyabira yes uh, ugogo then mazoboka zotorwa waka yaga kunzi count it's a count eh uh, vakasungwa nemapurisa kufamba ugogo nenya yaye kuti vanga vagadzira ka count kawo kanga ne belief yawo yaita kuti izvi ndo zvatiri kuita what's your take on 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 this issue of mazoboka ishmael all religious organizations including christianity they are cultic all of them munotorewa nemari dzavo munoende mina Mm-hmm. It's a cult. It's a cult. It's mild and it's acceptable some of those acceptable mm-hmm. cultic behaviors and how they have actually been sanitized mm. to say akuzamuirwa Jesu zvakanaka asimadzi baba ari wrong madzi baba ari wrong nokuti vaye rorora vana vadoko asa muna problem na Joseph na Mary nengiro zina Gabriel vachibwirana na chimwana cha chine 12 years kuti vachimiti sei chigobereka Jesu you don't have a problem apana dabudzi ke babu You have Gabriel, uh-huh. you have God, you have Joseph. What I mean, this is this, this, this rape. Mm. So Christianity is actually founded. <laughs> this is rape. I mean, but it, we must look at it from where we are sitting but, now. But, but, but how is it rape, uh, Maponga, when we were told that Virgin Mary, Agabada Bamuir, asna kurara na Joseph? I'm saying that in the future, <laughs> when you when they when they finally look at you, they will really call you. <laughs> it confused bunch of people. It's just now when we are also looking back at the act of Mary Yoyo, yeah. we all feel sorry for Mary. Because the question is how does a 12 year old kid mm-hmm. react mm-hmm. when an old man like Joseph yeah. is marrying her and, and the God is in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. God is in it. God is in it. <laughs> in, the, in, the, in, the, in, in the in the raping of a 12 year old God is in it. Then you will run around cultures, then you find other cultures that practice the same. Mm. And now we are using a european interpretation mm-hmm. of age of my maturity to interpret yeah. what they might want to call mm. a cultural expression mm-hmm. so this we don't want just to zoom into my postor we want to zoom into churches you're yeah. collecting tithes from people mm-hmm. using what principle mm-hmm. you are t- excluding people from their own families using what principles so that we we, we become square mm. when we are fixing mazibaba mm-hmm. we need to fix pentecostals also yeah. I've never understood you guys. Mm-hmm. You stand in a whole church and you speak things that you can't even understand yourself. Yeah. Confusion <laughs> Mm-hmm. But cult in a problem but it always excludes people mm. from the community to themselves. Yeah. We've now become your brothers and sisters. Mm-hmm. 
You must not look after your own mother. Yes. When you look into yes. those principles, yes. even some Christian churches that might look like they are normal churches, mm -hmm. they are very cultic. They're also doing that. Because they actually manage the finances of those families. Exactly. Without the father. And they walked on the wall, called on a my church. You cannot get married. You are my son. I had another case in South Africa where the pastor even took the ball. Hey! Is the spiritual father? Yes. Yeah. 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 But I want to become objective and I want to become in inclusive mm -hmm. so that when we are studying the habits of Mazibaba, we can also see how the same habits are manifesting mm -hmm. themselves in a variety of churches and how can we help our community. Yes. But my Jehovah's yes. Witness, for example, mm -hmm. it's a cult mm -hmm. in its own sense. The Adventists, they've just survived now about 20 years ago yeah. because that's when they accepted the Trinity. Mm -hmm. that's, that's Then they became normal church. But before then, we were actually called a cult. It's there. Yes. It's, no, yeah. Why? Because when you have a church, 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 it was a cult. Yeah. It was considered yeah. as a cult. cult yeah. So, and you, you, the Davidian, David Koresh, when they later on, those were extremists, mm -hmm. who now started to reproduce the 144,000 yeah. by himself. Yeah. So, 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 so he, 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 theology even goes. Yeah, very true. If you take it too far, I agree. If you don't be over-righteous, yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. Ah, that's very true. You will not live long. Mm -hmm. Don't be over wicked. Mm -hmm. God will not be pleased with you. Yeah. The man who fears the Lord avoids all extremes. Ecclesiastics vs you. You know what? I want to find out from you, Wamaponga. Uh, what prompted you to pursue truth beyond what you were taught in the Seventh day Adventist church? I don't think something that I did. It is um, an, an internal mm -hmm. structure of an inquiring mind mm -hmm. that, that seeks to think critically mm -hmm. and constantly advance my learning and as it were, Growth for me mm -hmm. is not static. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Grade Except that thinking you mm -hmm. kindergarten. kindergarten. Mm -hmm. Don't question that. Yeah. Let's take it as it is. Even when there is proof on the text. That will give you to the, that will give you to the contrary. Mm. And yet you are told that you must stand for the truth. Mm -hmm. Then what is truth? Yes. What is truth? Are you telling me that this is here? Jesus fed the 5,000. Okay. Then the other says, no, there were 10,000. Okay. Mm. They found the grave was open. All right. This one says, no, they found a young boy sitting on the grave. Mm. Then the other one says, no, the grave was closed. And who opened up the grave for us? Mm. Right. Same story. Four writers, same story. Mm. And which is truth? What is true? What, what is truth, therefore? Yeah, it's, it's confusing. Then, then for me, and hence I always tell people, I just want to take mm -hmm. to you to teach me, or well, let's share as the common theology yeah. speaks. Mm -hmm. I will do that, frankly. Right. We will walk on the water with Jesus. Mm -hmm. And we will pick Peter from That's the That's the common we one. We will pick Peter from the water. And we will walk together. Mm -hmm. And we will put a wave that blocks <laughs> Peter. And if he sinks in fear, <laughs> and he walks back into the boat. Yeah. I can do that. I've yeah. done that for years. Mm -hmm. If you say, let's become academic. I'll do that. Mm -hmm. Then we begin to argue. Authenticity of the text, mm. but if you say it's become historical, mm -hmm. then I cannot use historical tools mm -hmm. to fix theological issues. Uh, I can't because then I must then say well, history. Oh, history. Where is this place they call the cave mm. where Jesus was buried? Historically, where is it? Mm. It must be a geographical location somewhere. Yeah. yeah where yeah. is Machpelah, where Abraham buried his? his, uh, his where is the Red Sea? Mm -hmm. Is it the Red Sea or is the Red Sea? Mm. Where did they cross over? How far is Egypt from 
Israel. How many days did it take you to walk across? And how many years did but, they... But, but, as you can... but when you begin to become historical, mm -hmm. then you do archaeology. Mm -hmm. Some answers you find them, some answers you not find them. Mm -hmm. But for you to come to me, because I put on many hats, so if you ask me one question and I mis mischievously yes. uh, decide to put on a different hat, yeah. and I do so very intentionally, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because I could be that, yeah, and I could that. also be this, mm -hmm. and without losing myself. Because then being critical thinking means I am able to discuss if Jesus went to the toilet mm -hmm. and not feel that I'm blaspheming. Yeah. Because I want to prove <laughs> that if he was truly human, exactly. then he was human. I know, really. If the Bible says he cried, then he was human. He slept. Mm -hmm. Then I even ask if he was human. As a young man, as a young boy, did he also have wet dreams? <laughs> Without feeling like I'm profaning, yeah. Or, but if we say he was human, mm -hmm. then was he was he really human? So you you actually agree with uh, the Muslims when they say he was a prophet like uh, Muhammad? The problem of making Jesus God is that you are now stuck with three gods, mm -hmm. and yet you want to believe in one God. Now you must put three in one, one in three. Mm -hmm. The Father in, in, in the Son, the Son is in the Spirit, the Spirit is in this. Now when you go to heaven, you must go find three chairs. The God, the Father, God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit. Mm. This is all Catholic theology. They debated this theology from three, one, three, for 60, 70 years. They never agreed. The Catholic they never, never agreed. They never agreed on the Trinity, on the Godhead of Jesus. It's <laughs> only our generation that has accepted it. Aish. They argued for years. If Jesus was truly God, or he was mm. truly human. Transubstantiation, in, in substantiation and with God in man, man in God, how much of man was in God, how much of God was in man, and mm. Mary, if she gives birth to half God, then Mary must be God. That's where they found their mm. theology of oh, Mary, yeah. Mary, the mother of God. Mm -hmm. The Catholics are not confused. Because if, mother we, of God. if we say Jesus is, 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 is God, <laughs> then Mary is the mother of you God. You can't give birth to that which is less than yourself. So Mary becomes the mediator between us Aish, and God. Aish, Aish. And, and by believing in the Trinity, the Christian church is actually Catholic. But as, as, as a theology expert, do you subscribe to any other uh, religion? Subscription is where you pay money. <laughs> I don't know if I should pay money yeah, to yeah. anybody. I think what makes it more complicated is I'm still growing. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I've just opened up my doors of learning. Mm -hmm. I believe in nothing. I insult nothing. Mm -hmm. I rebuke nothing. I am learning everything. And I'm trying to form for myself a pathway of understanding. And I can only believe in something because I don't know it. Mm -hmm. I don't need to believe in my mother. I know her. Mm -hmm. I don't need to believe in my father. I know her. But you can believe in something because you don't know it. Yes. Therefore, faith, mm -hmm. it is, faith, it is for those who don't know. And faith is a servant mm -hmm. of those who know. For faith becomes an initiation into substances that you cannot see. Mm -hmm. But if you have seen it, you don't need faith in it. So we don't need to believe in Jesus. We need to know him. Yeah. yeah. First, Job says, I know my Redeemer lives. He doesn't say, I believe mm -hmm. in my Redeemer. Yeah. yeah. But I know. <laughs> so knowledge is much more mature mm -hmm. than faith. Unfortunately, I'm talking to young people. Mm -hmm. who are now coming from faith-based yes. organizations. Exactly. They don't exactly. come from knowledge-based organizations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when we believe in something, then just give me something that I don't know. Then I'll believe in it. <laughs> 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 so with your you know, theological you know, expertise, do you believe Israel is justified in its actions amid uh, you know, the ongoing conflict with uh, Palestine? They are not even Israelis, Israelis those people. Those are Ashkenazis. Go and find a book entitled The 13th Tribe by, by Ford, which actually proves that they, these are Turkish people mm -hmm. who moved over into Europe, who ended up in Germany and in Poland and mm -hmm. etc. They converted into Judaism, mm -hmm. but they are not Jews. Those. If, even the Bible confirms that mm -hmm. in the book of Revelation chapter 2, mm -hmm. they are those who are from the house of Satan who claim to be Jews, mm -hmm. and yet they are not Jews. Mm. But Jews are not white. Those big-nosed people who roll their hair yes, on the sides, exactly. they are not Jews at all. Jews are if you are looking for a Jew, mm -hmm. then the first definition for you as a scholar is the word Abraham. Abraham. Which is Jude. R. 
Bara Hama. Abara Hama. Abraham. Ah oh, is God. Mm -hmm. Bara gave birth. Ham, the nation of black people. Uh, okay. Ham, the nation of black people. Bara. It's not your Hebrew. Okay. Okay. Aleph. Bara. Ham. So God. So in, 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 then you ensure it has a meaning as well. Abara Hama. They just simplified it for you. Okay. Me. Okay. <laughs> literally, if you are looking for the Jews of the Bible, you will find only two tribes, mm -hmm. which is Manasseh and Judah. Mm -hmm. But if you are looking for the Hebrews, you will find 13 tribes. Mm. That includes the other 10 yeah. that went to the north in mm -hmm. Assyria. Mm -hmm. And then they fused and mixed with the rest of the world. Mm. That's why you still find the Kosa people with their Jewish. So those, in, I, so those in Israel are not them, the real still Jews. You find them circumcising mm. traditions of Abraham. Yeah. You still find them in Mashingo collecting dowry and lobola. Mm -hmm. Still find them in Mozambique giving their brothers' wives mm -hmm. to their late to their late brothers' wives mm -hmm. to each other. Kugaranak. So where, where you find them practicing mm -hmm. the culture, those are the true Hebrews. So those ones that are in Palestine, they are not. They are not. They are not the Jews. Mm. Except for a few population of the Ethiopians, mm -hmm. and uh, there are more Jews in in, in, in Venda, mm -hmm. in the Lemba people. There's another research also available to that. Okay. Than we have in Israel. Wow. By yeah. blood. Mm. By blood. Mm. That's big. But not remember, even the way they kill their animals, mm -hmm. exactly as the Bible says it. You must hang it. It must bleed. It must what? It must what? They do their circumcisions on the eighth day of birth. Mm -hmm. What? And in the deep south. So the question is, mm -hmm. when you find, I'm giving you a key here. I hope you can get it. Yeah. When you find people who practice the text, mm -hmm. they are the original people. Mm -hmm. go, to, go, to, go to the Igbos, mm -hmm. the depth of uh, Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Find them dressed up like rabbis mm -hmm. with horns in their hands, yeah. blowing their shofars, mm -hmm. celebrating their festivals, the Shavoth, the Passovers, and the Sakoth, mm -hmm. and everything else. If you find them practicing, they're the owners of the text. Mm. But these Ashkenazis who are killing the Palestinians in the name of Jewish, they are not. They are far from the text. Reflecting, they are criminals. Yeah, <laughs> they are criminals. So, reflecting on Pope uh, Francis' uh, call uh, for Catholic priests to bless same sex marriages, you know, what's your comment on this? We also saw United Methodist uh, Church, you know, um, reverses ban on practicing gay. What's your take on this? The church is a, is an economic center. Mm -hmm. That's why they collect money. The church is a political center. Mm -hmm. That's why they bless presidents. The church is a spiritual center. That's why they bury people mm -hmm. and conduct weddings. Mm -hmm. The church has got many functions. Yeah. And in the midst of these many functions, the church has to be relevant to the politics of the day. Mm -hmm. Depending as to who is paying the bills, then the church must comply mm -hmm. with the payment of the bills. And unfortunately, there was a time, Ola, when the church led the state. Mm. We are now at an era where the state is leading the church. The church. You can finish the rest for yourself. Mm. Yeah, that's very powerful. The state is now leading the church. As a church when leaders mm -hmm. would come and kneel before the church, the church. to be blessed. Mm -hmm. And now, if they misbehaved, mm -hmm. the church would call them to order. Mm -hmm. But these days it's different. Now the politics, the United Nations, the lamb-like beast, mm -hmm. America, mm -hmm. the devil himself, mm. is now the champion of human morality. Yeah. Mm. So what do we expect? Yes. We must all become Americans. But we've never asked Amer Americans to become Africans. Africans, yeah. So because you want to comply with <laughs> money, so church, the truth of the church is mm -hmm. now for sale. For you to get money, you must behave like us. You must adopt our culture. Everything like us. And the doctrines of the church. Before you guys die, I feel sorry for you. Mm -hmm. This Bible is going to get changed. It's going to get cleaned up. It's going to be condemned, actually. Mm. It's a demonic book yeah. that does not tolerate same-sex mm -hmm. marriages, etc. Mm -hmm. Another parliamentarian, 
right now in, in Europe has been arrested for quoting Bible verses hey. on to their private social media space. Oh. So you can find it. You can also research it. Yeah. Google on it. Yeah. Arrested for quoting the Bible on same-sex marriage. So there's already plans underway right now mm. to exclude mm. the Bible from lots of those conversations. Yeah, uh, it's quite uh, sad. So can one become a, a follower of Christ and uh, African traditional religion mm. at the same time? I'm so happy that we took such a long time to discuss various aspects of culture mm -hmm. in the Bible. And we don't find any one of those people we have been speaking about being condemned mm -hmm. for Abraham, for digging up a grave, mm -hmm. for his buying a cave for his wife. Yeah. Abraham mm -hmm. put a tombstone on his own wife, wife's grave. Mm -hmm. Don't have a problem with drinking blood and eating flesh. Mm -hmm. Don't have a problem with baptisms. Don't have a problem of incenses mm -hmm. from the Catholic priests. Yeah. Fumigating us in the churches. So you're asking culture, maybe we they just maybe cut to the chase mm -hmm. and say the colonial Christianity has a fundamental problem. Mm -hmm. with African culture. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with God. Mm. Because the whole Bible is culture practice. Yeah. Planting is culture. Mm -hmm. Fashion is culture. Food is culture. culture. Marriage is culture. Mm -hmm. Funerals is culture. Even the more. I'll give you one that will mess up your head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus, Messiah, is supposed to have died. Or he died. Mm -hmm. And they took him to the grave. Mm -hmm. Buried him. Early Sunday morning, Mary, the mother of Jesus, and Mary of Magdalene, picked up some oils, picked up some scents, mm -hmm. incense, perfumes. Where are you going? We're going to the grave. Mm -hmm. To what? To embalm him. Oh, so the culture <laughs> is that a dead person mm. must be embalmed. Mm. So had they found him, what are they going to do? They're going to empower him. So they will have. Mm -hmm. So the practice of culture, we cannot run away from African culture. Mm. Exactly. But the very Bible you are looking at, mm -hmm. we actually find, we find them on their way to the graveyard. Yeah. <laughs> to go and conduct their own culture. So God has never condemned culture. It is he, book of Acts chapter 17, who placed us on the face of the earth and demarcated Boundaries where each one of us should live so that we should look for him. Perchance grapple for him. So that we can find him. Yeah. Though he's not far away mm -hmm. from any one of us. So there's no nation in America, mm -hmm. in Europe, in Israel. You don't need to go to Mecca. You don't need to go to Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. You don't need to go to Nigeria to go and look for Jesus. What I call religious tourism. Mm -hmm. He is not far away from any one of mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So where do you stand concerning, you know, Christianity, given your expertise in theology? I stand as a scholar. I stand as a cultural expert. I stand as a student. I stand as a teacher. Mm -hmm. And it depends it depends what I want to be. It depends what I want to be. Mm -hmm. If I want to become a student, I learn. If I hear there's a beautiful program happening somewhere and I want to go there, yeah. I go. Mm -hmm. If I don't want to go, I don't go. Mm -hmm. So my students, and again, as I said, I'm spending most of my time right now mm -hmm. writing my Bible. You are actually writing your Bible? Ah, but the gospel according to Maponga J. According to Maponga J? And uh, are you quoting other Bibles? Where I, where I want to, I quote. Just mm -hmm. like the Gospel according to Matthew, mm -hmm. the Gospel according to Luke, the Gospel according to John, mm -hmm. the so Gospel is, according to Mark. Is, is it like a Bible, like the Holy Bible, or is it just your Bible? Scripture. I'm writing Scripture. Mm -hmm. Okay. I get, I, get, I get woken up at three in the morning mm -hmm. by whoever wakes me up, and I hear my whispers. Mm -hmm. things are dropped in my spirit mm -hmm. and I start writing. So you, you, hear, you hear things, you hear stuff. I get inspired. I 
get asked questions. Mm -hmm. sometimes, sometimes I'm even able to have conversations in my dreams mm -hmm. and in my visions. I, I wake up and, and okay, they're making this one easy for you. Mm -hmm. Close your mouth. Mm -hmm. Mention the word stone without opening your mouth. Mm -hmm. So, so who, who, who are speaking? Me. Whose voice is that? Mine. Did you hear it? <laughs> In the heart. Inside yourself. Yeah. Thank you. So you have personal conversations mm -hmm. inside. So yeah. So that's what you do. I have my own conversations. Sometimes they're dreams. Sometimes they're visions. Mm -hmm. And I write them down. So did, did you believe that you are spiritually gifted? No. Nah. I think I actually think it's happening to everybody. Mm -hmm. We all dream. Mm -hmm. We all have visions. It's only that to some people is more intense mm -hmm. to others they just wake up in the morning and they're forgotten yeah that's why they have so many big pillows on their beds mm -hmm. because all their dreams never leave yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you had this title of uh bishop now that you have abandoned that uh, what happened to that title what are you now i was not born with that title mm -hmm. you, know, you get things along the way mm -hmm. and uh it's not like um it's not like i cannot function or i've mm -hmm. not functioned in that space yes i have but for the sake of the weaker brethren like yourselves mm -hmm. and many others, I thought maybe I would not put the church in disrepute. Mm. I'll give some space so that I can learn, mm -hmm. I can grow. Because sometimes you carry, you carry soul's clothes mm -hmm. when you're going to fight your own Goliath. Yeah. And you find that these clothes are becoming too heavy for the battle that you are looking at. And I, I decided, mm -hmm. it was my choice. Yeah. I decided to step down. Mm -hmm. Of course, the church became excited also mm -hmm. uh, maybe i've not been controversial but i think I've yeah been. yeah but the adventist church because they don't have the concept of bishop mm -hmm. people of pastors yes presidents. of course yeah and, but uh, then they say where did you find the code bishop, bishop. Yeah. we don't have a bishop in mm -hmm. the adventist church yeah said, but the bishop is in the bible mm -hmm. actually what we don't have in the bible is the president <laughs> <laughs> and the secretary of the conference oh no. and then they got excited mm -hmm. some of my old friends like mm -hmm. Bongwaru decided to exactly writing letters and chase me away from mm -hmm. the church. Mm -hmm. and, but as we stand right now, um, uh, my membership has been retained at uh, Kelvin Church in South Africa. Uh, Seventh the day. Yeah, where I go there when I'm there with my family and my children. Also, oh, no, you are now back uh, at Seventh day. No, I'm saying my membership has always been there. Mm -hmm. And in the midst of my growth, when I'm home, I take yeah. my children. Mm -hmm. It's my growth. Okay. I'm not imposing that on my wife. Oh, yeah. I'm not imposing that on my children. Mm. They have their friends. They have their own path to yes. walk. Yes. And many times, maybe this way, pastors get confused. Hey, there's a pastor, so and so. All of a sudden, even his wife mm -hmm. is now prophet, so and so. How, how, how? Did like, God it, like, like it was uh, sexually transmitted? Uh, no, man. No. <laughs> 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 I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe, maybe, again, maybe this is where where freedom comes in mm -hmm. that we must give each other yeah. space mm -hmm. to, to grow. Yeah. If you have understood something, unfortunately in my space, mm -hmm. people are on my page. Yeah. They hear me arguing with myself. Mm -hmm. it's, it's me having a, a questions yeah. in, with myself. Mm -hmm. And if anyone out there cares to help me to understand mm -hmm. or to give me answers and then I listen. Yeah, yeah. But otherwise, no one is compelled. Mm -hmm. I, I've not taken a whip. Some, some people say, ah, I'm the right peng. Probably. I'm not the first one. You say, Isaac Newton, I'm not peng. You Elon Musk, I'm not peng. He goes, no, I'm not Terrence Howard. I'm not peng. Exactly. I'm not Galileo. Galileo, I'm not peng. I'm not peng. I'm not peng. Galileo, I'm not peng. The world is round. Mm. It's flat. I got to run a church. I do right, but he goes, No, is it not fake? Yeah. It's, it's, um, when I dump the marriage, I was not paying it. With madness, it's re madness is relative. Mm -hmm. But I always believe that genius comes with madness to a certain level. Mm. You, 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 you lose, you lose sense of culturally sacred mm -hmm. as you begin to cross those th thresholds of limitation. Mm -hmm the inquiring mind, then stops fearing. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm no longer afraid of God. Mm. I'm not afraid of the devil. Yeah. I'm not afraid of you. Mm -hmm. I'm not afraid of anybody. Yeah. I'm, I'm, the only thing I'm afraid of is myself. Mm. <laughs> you know what, uh, Obaponga, now people regard you as a motivational speaker, um, uh, you know, than a minister. What's your take on that? Nah, I used to do that in the early 
2008, 2009. Mm -hmm. So those who have discovered I'm a motivational speaker, they are still another 20 years behind mm. what I used to do there. Yeah. I, I used to do motivation, yes, in organization. But now I'm into more into social re mm. re-engineering. Yeah. If you can find me mm. a correct name, I would rather call myself that. I'm more comfortable with that. Mm. I'm into social re-engineering. Social re-engineering. So I'm an engineer right now. I'm a social re-engineer. Mm. On Christian things, how can we do it better? Mm -hmm. On political spaces, mm -hmm. how can we do it better? Yeah. On economics, how can you do it better? Mm. Entertainment, health, indigenous medicines, spirituality. I've mm -hmm. come up with my own uh, mantras mm -hmm. and books that teach my new way of interpreting reality. Mm -hmm. From cosmology to even, I won't even do resusc resuscitate, putting beads mm -hmm. around our young girl children's yeah. waistline. Mm -hmm. Seven days, they're in their periods. Mm -hmm. Give them the red beads. Yes. Seven days, they're drying up. Wow. Give them the orange. Uh -huh. Seven days, they are now white, uh -huh. put them white, then seven oh. days they are now green, they are ovulating, uh -huh. so they can be in control of their sexuality. Wow. To know when, to what, what. Now we cannot throw away such means of science and yeah. knowledge mm. from our ancestors, yeah. and we call the beads demonic. Mm -hmm. And our grandmothers lived with our grandfathers for 50, 60 years. Mm. They only had two or three children. Yeah. So how did they manage that? And in the midst of understanding the cycle, mm -hmm. And women are in control of their sexuality. Yes. And issues of polygamy will no longer be a problem. Mm. Because women can only make use of men only for seven days seven in a month. Days. Yeah. What do you do with him for the next 21 days? Yeah. <laughs> Moving on, Mr. Bafonga, you know, how has Zimbabwe you know, fared politically uh, since the elections? And what factors influenced the voters' decision? You know, additionally, uh, what are your thoughts on the collapse of citizens or coalition uh, for change. Mm. But we knew that was coming. Mm. We knew that was coming. I mean, you, you, you have um, political figures in the country whom I constantly have lost respect in. Mm -hmm. Because you cannot have the goalposts in your hand. And every time when the ball is kicked, mm -hmm. then you, you shift. You move the goalpost. Mm -hmm. Because where you are, the illusion is that's where the truth is. Mm -hmm. So if, if you are there, that's where the truth is. Mm -hmm. If you are there. Yeah. So, so you see an, an exodus mm -hmm. from MDC. You know, that's where the truth was. Yeah. Know. But that's what the problem. You know, now the CPC. CCC, you know, then there was a problem. Mm -hmm. Now we are, where are we now? Mm -hmm. I don't know where we are. That's where God is. Mm -hmm. So I move with God. As if all of us, as if all of us in this country mm -hmm. are away from God. Your question begins off by asking me the progress of the country from independence. Mm -hmm brilliant strides we have made as Zimbabwe as a country, but big mistakes also we've made. Mm -hmm. Because number one, we went to war to fight for land. Mm -hmm. And we came back with beautiful poems and beautiful pieces of paper mm -hmm. called constitutions. Yeah. And the devil called democracy, which we never fought for. Mm -hmm. Our issue was not democracy. Mm -hmm. We were not being oppressed here before the white people came. Mm -hmm. So we, we were not looking for that. Right. What we were looking for is land. Mm -hmm. Now listen to me very carefully. Because what I'm going to share with you is critical for all African politics. Mm -hmm. I'm not only talking about Zimbabwe. Only. Okay. The danger we faced is that at coming back, then our political leaders, instead of delivering back to the people what they had gone to fight for, they went to the same offices where the colonialists were sitting and set themselves on the same chairs of the colonialists and declared themselves as kings, which you call presidents, mm -hmm. and did not attend initially at arrival in the office mm -hmm. to the fundamentals of the struggle itself. Mm -hmm. I hope you're following. Yeah, I'm following. Ultimately, what did we end up having? Mm -hmm. The problems that were caused by war mm -hmm. were not solved by independence. The problems that were caused by the war mm -hmm were not solved by independence. Mm. Because after independence, we thought that independence is a flag and a national anthem. Mm -hmm. We forgot that independence includes land. It includes economic freedom. Mm -hmm. it, includes a, it includes a revamp of the curriculum. Mm. Mm. It includes restoration of the culture and practices of people. Yeah, yeah. It so colonialism cannot just be evil in terms of politics, but their religion is still fine. Yeah. So even our spirituality. Mm. Needed to be How can Nehanda and Chaminuka lead us in war? Mm -hmm. And when you come back, they've become demons. Yeah. 
I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, are you following what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm following. So the very spirit mm -hmm. that drove, and if you got some of the soldiers and our Madam Koma, the gorillas mm -hmm. who went to war, and how Nehanda manifested herself mm -hmm. at the battlefront to the liberation of the country, mm -hmm. I don't remember Jesus appearing anywhere in Ichimoi, mm. in Machpanda, <laughs> in Yadzonya, and etc. Yeah. And but to come back from war and throw away the very spirit of war. Mm -hmm. So many African countries have made a blunder to think that political independence mm -hmm. comes with economic freedom and we are shocked we were shocked to our boots mm -hmm. to discover the banks still belong to the whites mm. the manufacturing industry still belong to, to the, the whites. whites the mines still belong to the whites mm -hmm. and here's the biggest problem even if we would give them to the blacks mm -hmm. the blacks did not have the education mm. they did not have the financial capacity they did not have access to market yeah. And the universities were just producing students mm -hmm. to apply for jobs. Not students to mm -hmm. own the champions, champions of industry. Yeah. 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 What have we done so far? Mm. And Mugabe, thanks be to him. Mm -hmm. I cannot account mm -hmm. what he did for 30 years. Mm -hmm. But in the last days when he finally met his truth, mm -hmm and took back the land. Mm -hmm. Had we done that earlier, earlier, the recession of Zimbabwe would have been long done. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we're still coming out of the struggle. Mm. It would have been a revolution once yes. and for all. Once and for, yeah, so true. the demon that we were facing was the Lancaster Agreement. Mm -hmm. We said, don't touch land for the next 25 years. Yes. And then Tony Blair makes a turn because they thought that after 25 years, Mugabe will be long gone. Mm -hmm. Then he was there. Unfortunately. <laughs> the man they promised. After 25 years? They still found him in power. <laughs> and then he looked them in the eye and says, no, when you were signing this thing, you were still in primary exactly. school. Exactly. And therefore, you go back home and uh -huh. take your the most famous speech. Aish. Keep your Britain and I'll keep my Zimbabwe. Mm. And you have seen, mm. and I will say this with pride, to the anger of many of my opposition politics mm -hmm. friends. Yeah. We have seen the pain of Zimbabwe through recession. Mm -hmm. But I can guarantee you that through recession, we have produced more millionaires during our moments of pain than we did. Than we did before. When Mugabe was still in power and Zimbabwe was running. We Why so? We had a beautiful team of employees. Mm. Now we have mm. entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs. It's now, there's a change, there's a shift. When, when, when the fuel people stopped supplying fuel, there, Tagore mm. comes into space, mm -hmm. supplies fuel. But people are complaining about the monopoly. You can, you can complain, but who was going to do it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so sometimes arguments are nice. Yeah. Yeah. People were talking about gold. Mm -hmm. Sakukanya is there. Mm -hmm. They're still complaining. Yeah. Now, next time, what is this? Starlink is Starlink. coming. Shivaya is coming. People are complaining, but services, you know, they, uh, uh, cell phone companies, mm -hmm. Strive Masiwa is coming. Mm -hmm. He has bought himself some palaces in, in New York. 48 mm -hmm. million. Are yeah. you complaining? He's still, he stole my data the other day. <laughs> I'm serious. I bought data for 20, for 20, 20 thing. Yeah. I did not even download something which was less than one, one byte or two. Uh -huh. And the thing was finished. <laughs> and the other month I bought data when I went to South Africa. I come back here and I was told that my data has expired. Uh -huh. I said, how do I take my... Um, <laughs> and there's some fridge. The <laughs> thing of data disappearing at the end of the month doesn't make sense. But uh, who complains about Strive Masio? Mm -hmm. Because he's in bed with the white people. Mm -hmm. So we will protect his investment. But mm -hmm. fellow Africans, we have a beautiful opportunity. And I must tell you, and I'm saying this with pride, mm -hmm. I'm not buying Honorable Nangagwa's face. Mm -hmm. I'm saying it with conviction that the Second Republic and the initiatives that the president is doing now, mm -hmm. personally, mm -hmm. I cannot even understand uh, Ola, where Munangagwa is getting the money from, mm -hmm. which Mugabe could not access. Mm. I can't understand it. Yeah. That we wasted almost like 30 years mm -hmm. of beautiful speeches. Yeah. But in the last few years, we have been able to see very active mm -hmm. government in infrastructure restoration, mm -hmm. roads infrastructure, air airport fixations, power reinstallation. I was in Wangi power mm -hmm. station, yeah. refurbishing of mm -hmm. seven and eight. 
I was at the Guai River. Mm-hmm. And this is me, by the way, yeah. with my critical mind. Mm-hmm. I don't have to wait for Chamisa or CCC mm-hmm. or Chingono mm-hmm. to write about how rubbish Zimbabwe is. Yes, we still need help in Paririnya Tua. We need to put something in the health infrastructure mm-hmm. here in the... But I deliberate when I came back to the country mm-hmm. that I will walk with my feet to go and find exactly what is happening. Is the government working? Mm-hmm. So I went to Chifu. Dam. Yeah. I stood on the dam mm-hmm. when they were building it. When they opened it, I went there mm-hmm. to see it. I went to Guai River Dam. I walked there. Mm-hmm. I w- 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 walked up to the parliament. I mm-hmm. saw that. And I begin to report positively about our country. Mm-hmm. And you can see for the past two years that the language on our media space mm-hmm. is almost transforming. Mm-hmm. That's some of the work that we are doing in the background wow. in terms of restoring and saying mm. the positive Zimbabwe story. Yeah. And uh, recently, you know, former Triple C leader Nelson Chamisa uh, insists that uh, he was overwhelmingly voted by Zimbabweans in 2023 presidential election and says there is still, you know, a need for SADC intervention. Chamisa made these remarks at a press conference in Harare a couple of months after dumping Triple C. What's your comment on Chamisa's remarks? Jacob Zuma is far much more experienced than Chamisa. Jacob Zuma started a party late last year and he has gathered about 7, 8 million people this far. Mm -hmm. Chamisa dumped uh, MDC a few months before the elections. And I think he makes a very big blunder to think that his followers are stupid. Mm -hmm. That you can move them across a terrain of parties and they will just follow you because it's you. That's quite being naive. Mm-hmm. He's got intellectual people in his midst. He's got frustrated youth in his midst mm-hmm. who are really looking out to him for leadership. But you cannot dupe people and think that you can jump from within one period of an election. Mm-hmm. You jump from MDC to CCC to your present political party. And yet the system that you are still using are the MDC seats that are still sitting in parliament and etc. Mm-hmm. And the constitution will not allow these people to sit in the new party unless their constituents have voted them to come and function as such mm-hmm. and overlook all this process of election and simply come up and make a reckless statement that I had more people who voted for me. Mm-hmm. Where are those people that voted for you when you left them along the way? His party has been leaking in terms of losing membership. Mm-hmm. And I think you'll be taking us for a ride to think that you can convince me in my full brain sitting here with you mm-hmm. that he had many people that voted for him. Uh-huh. And he cannot, the, voting for him for 20 years, the cities have not been doing well mm. in terms of infrastructure. People are getting frustrated. And more than 20 or so plus municipalities are in the hands of the opposition party. Mm-hmm. Then they want to play politics, the government. and But people are tired of stories of why there's no water why there's no electricity. Mm-hmm. So ultimately, people want solutions. Mm-hmm. And on, on the contrary, the ZANU-PF, this particular election, oh, they put a show. Mm-hmm. They put a proper show. Mm-hmm. And another problem we always face is to think that the city people are more than the rural people. Mm. So Harare could have maybe 2 million people, 3 million at most. Buloye, 1 million people. Maramba Fungwe, 5 million. But then go to the bush. Where are the 20 five other million people mm-hmm. residing. Mm-hmm. Okay, put another five in diaspora. Mm-hmm. So why are the 18? So are you telling me that the campaign was that thorough from his new party that he had run back to all the constituencies and swung their bets toward his own election? I think he's taking us for a ride. Mm. He's not being honest. If, you are, if, you are, if he must be truthful, mm-hmm. I think uh, he's lying. Mm-hmm. There's no truth in that. So do you, do you think there is a there is going to be a party you know another party that will stand against ZANPF like uh, what Triple C did during the the last elections? We don't need opposition politics. We need alternative party politics mm-hmm. because if you're an opposition party, are you opposing Zimbabwe? Opposition party it means that when we build a road, you oppose it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when you build a parliament, you oppose it. When you build an airport, you oppose it. Mm-hmm. But are you not also benefiting from the same services? We don't need opposition party. Mm-hmm. We need alternative parties. Mm-hmm. And while you're on that, as a young man, I want to advise you and tell your young friends also, do your research, young people. Give me the top 10 most successful countries in the world and ask me if they are democratic. 
Start with London, Europe, mm-hmm. Britain, Sweden, Norway. Take me to Dubai, mm-hmm. Singapore, North Korea, China. Mm-hmm. Tell me, are these countries democratic? So there are other methods of mm-hmm. governance mm-hmm. which could make Zimbabwe successful. Mm-hmm. This whole democratic process of every five years you are changing leaders does not always prove to work. Mm-hmm. Kagame has been able to achieve what he has achieved mm-hmm. 20 years later. Russia mm-hmm. has achieved what it has achieved so far another 20, 25 years later. Mm. The queen has achieved what she's achieved another 80 years later. Mm-hmm. And on her death, she leaves it to her son. Yeah. Who will leave it to her son. Mm-hmm. So who said that our methods of indigenous governance were inferior? to the Mm -hmm. white man's democratic system, Mm -hmm. which has become an intoxication of the entire African continent. Mm -hmm. I don't call it democracy. It's demon crazy. Because all what democracy does, it forces European culture. So you don't support democracy? I don't support democracy. I can't even spell it. You are not a democrat. I can't even spell it. Mm -hmm. I would rather go for benevolent Mm -hmm. dictatorship. Mm -hmm. I would rather go for meritocracy. I would rather go for indigenous governance, Mm -hmm. monarch systems. Mm -hmm. Something that we know as Africans. Zimbabwe ruins was not built. Mm-hmm. Great Zimbabwe was not built by democracy. The pyramids of Giza were not built by democracy. Mm-hmm. We've had civilizations that survived for thousands of years mm. without democracy. Yeah. We have our own way of governing ourselves. Mm-hmm. And that's the way I always tell you, you cannot put on souls clothes mm-hmm. to go and fight Goliath. That's why there's so much problems in the government. Mm-hmm. Because people think that they're going to make democracy work. The day, it will, we will, the day we must talk democracy is the day when Donald Trump says it works. Mm. Now, if the owners of democracy are fighting and struggling with it, how much more you, Zimbabwe? <laughs> you are hardly 40 years old. America is 276 years old. Mm-hmm. And their system is not perfect yet. Yeah. And they want your democracy to be as mature mm-hmm. as American democracy. If I was you, I would say give yourself another 100 years. Of mm. testing systems until you find what works. You will be where America is another 200 years from now. Mm. But we don't have 200 years to wait. Let's use what we know. Yeah. So, uh, what do you foresee uh, for the future of Zimbabwe, especially considering your previous um, statement uh, that the liberation heroes need to upgrade their approach for economic liberation? The, the, the pain of the liberation heroes must not be undermined and so is their trauma. In some certain case, even their psychological health and well-being. Mm-hmm. Some of them went to war too early and they were traumatized. Mm-hmm. And I don't think by the time they came back from war, they went through a rehab to normalize them. Mm-hmm. I know a couple of military people right now who are sinking in alcoholism and substance abuse to suppress the pain mm-hmm. that they went through. It would be sad to take such a quality of leadership Mm -hmm. and put them into power to run the country. Mm -hmm. We respect the pain, but we need healing Mm -hmm. and closure. Mm -hmm. And we need handover of power because slowly, one by one, there's no month that goes by Mm -hmm. and another hero is down. Another hero is down. And if it keeps on happening the way it's happening, the question is where will be the transition? between the old generation and the new generation. And, the new generation. Mm-hmm. and hence, there needs to be a, a process of uh, you know, on, on the job training, that transition. There must be a process of skills transfer mm-hmm. so that the, the liberation of our country politically, mm-hmm. we now need new liberation heroes who are economic soldiers, mm-hmm. who are technological soldiers, mm-hmm. who are IT soldiers, who are money soldiers Mm -hmm. who understand how the system works who are fifth sixth industrial revolution Mm. you know projectors yes who who are manufacturers and designers where where, where, where do we put these now uh, the liberation of heroes all old people will go where other old people have gone Mm -hmm. the fact we don't have to put them anywhere Mm -hmm. they are going there anyhow Mm -hmm. but the question is when they go Will you build on their legacy mm-hmm. or you will destroy it? He is a fool coming from town, mm-hmm. finds his father in his house. He says, I, I, I want to start everything afresh. Mm-hmm. I'm going to destroy all the houses. I'm going to kill all the cattle. Start afresh. I'm going to start afresh. 
And unfortunately, that is the mind of the young people. Mm -hmm. To think that you don't need anything from the past. Mm -hmm. You want to start everything afresh. Mm -hmm. We don't have the luxury of time. Any intelligent young person, mm -hmm. build on the foundations of your forefathers. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know what killed your forefathers, it will kill you also. Mm. So remember the enemies of your fathers. And remember his friends. Because when they will treat you in the future, mm -hmm. depends on the relationship they had with your father. Yeah. So as Africans, particularly African mm -hmm. children, we need to start understanding what is it that has killed our ancestors mm -hmm. and our fathers. We will be fools to wake up in the morning and go and hug the same people that abused our parents, mm. raped our mothers, and butchered our fathers. Yeah. And when I hear, I farm, but you sunga one, sunga dozen. Why does it go on? Sunga one, you sunga dozen. You sunga dozen. We sunga dozen. Why sunga dozen? My piri sasa we are didka. We sunga dozen. Put investment sasa we are didka. We sunga dozen. Dora did zire nyas. I have a question for you, Mr. Chamisa. Can you be honest enough and tell me that people that died for lack of medicine in this country, your hand is not also involved in that? Mm. Because you instructed your handlers not to send tablets to the country. In other words, the pain of the Zimbabweans is a benefit for you politically. And you want to blame the ruling party for being corrupt. And you help them in their corruption by destroying the nation, which you now want to call and start leading. Mm. How does that work in your head? When you see all those people that have run away and their families have been destroyed for lack of employment, mm -hmm. divorces that have happened, because people were running away from Zimbabwe because there was no employment, you would just sooner one, which sooner doesn't. Talk from the Chamisa because my work one no more. Unyoro ba Facebook here. Can my work one no royal. Unyoro ba Facebook here. Look at America. Look at Britain. They have their own problems. I was in the Bronx. I was in California. I've been to San Francisco. Mm -hmm. I've been to Brooklyn. In the Bronx in, Br in Britain, mm -hmm. the life there is substandard. But you never saw see those things mm -hmm. on news. They always present the picture. The good the side. The American dream. It doesn't mean that there are no problems mm -hmm. at home. And if I was Chamisa, please, swallow your pride. Go and join the government. Don't have this arrogant attitude. It's all or nothing. I must be the president or else I'm not taking anything. Mm -hmm. How are you going to become all or nothing when you don't have an, ex an experience even of sending an ambassador out of the country or looking at the budget of a department <laughs> or knowing how a parliament at least functions? You want to jump from the back seat <laughs> and come and run the country when you don't even know where the security of the country is and what happens in the country and you're so obsessed with becoming a messiah of Zimbabwe that it is all to do with you becoming a leader of Zimbabwe. Mm. If not, nothing at all. So what are you saying to his, um, should I say, legion of followers? Oh, well, good luck to them. They will live very long. They will, they will need to pray to live very long to see the light of day when those ambitions will come to sight. Mm -hmm. Because we as the older people right now, we can't trust our future with you. Mm -hmm. They're going to arrest all of us. They're going to destroy the whole system and start afresh. Mm. What are you going to do with all the headmasters? What are you going to do with all the permanent secretaries? What are you going to do with all the army generals? What are you going to do with all the police? What are you going to do with all of them? Send all of them to jail. <laughs> it doesn't work, man. And <laughs> common sense will tell you it doesn't work like that. Mm. It doesn't work like that. And I would say go to, go to parliament, Chamisa. Join your parliamentarians there. Work from inside. Mm -hmm. I want to close up with an illustration. Mm -hmm. If we are driving on a ship, then you discover the ship is going the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. Few options. You tell all the people in the ship, 250 kilometers into the deep of the sea, mm -hmm. let's all jump out on the ship. Let's swim back. Mm. Good advice. And that's powerful. But so, sharks, no, sharks will be waiting for you. Uh -huh. And maybe many will drown. <laughs> Another option, uh -huh. go to the one that is driving the car, the ship, and murder him. Mm -hmm. And take over driving yourself. We hope you know where you're going. Mm -hmm. Third option, call the experts in the ship to verify the direction. Mm -hmm. And then walk up to the person driving the ship and talk, talk to him mm -hmm. to swing the ship mm -hmm. towards the right direction. I opted for the last option. Mm -hmm. 
Let's talk to the captain. So in this regard, you're saying Mr. Chamisa should talk to the president. I tried to reach out to him when I was coming to the country mm -hmm. three, four, five times. He refused mm -hmm. to talk to me. He refused. Why? I called him Nangagwa. Two days later, he opened up his doors to come to talk to me. Mm. Why did Chamisa refuse? Do not you think that maybe he, when he looks at you, he's, he's looking at a, maybe a critic, so to say? I wanted actually, initially I wanted to work with him, mm -hmm. so to speak, because I thought I'd, I'd contribute something. I was not very happy with the Mugabe regime, I mm -hmm. must say. And uh, I, I wanted to make a contribution mm -hmm. from the opposition alternative What space. is it that you wanted to, to add? The restructuring, the restructuring and decentralization of government, the same strategy of cultural intelligence mm -hmm. and uh, restoring indigenous governance systems, etc. Mm -hmm. the whole manifesto. I even registered my own political party at one yeah. time. Mm -hmm. and, um, so I, I wanted, I didn't want to start to see reinvent the wheel. Mm -hmm. But I mean, every man has got a right to his own friends mm -hmm. and the right to the people that he doesn't like. So maybe he didn't like me. But, um, he just ignored you? Yeah, totally. totally mm. yeah. But then I got an ear with the president. Mm -hmm. And what to do, well, help there and there, how? Tell the good story about Zimbabwe. Yeah, Tell that's what story. you're doing right now? That's what I've been doing for the longest of time. Uh, cross the globe. I'm doing it personally. It's not even a okay. Zanu PF project. Mm -hmm. it's just something I wanted permission to work in a territory. Okay. I didn't want to be beaten or okay. to be abused in any way. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As Zimbabwe prepares to assume the chairmanship of SADC in August so do you think the country is up to the task? I've always laughed because the other day uh, uh, Ramaphosa and uh, Haka Inde were moving into the space of mm -hmm. uh, you know, the elections of Zimbabwe, blah, blah, yes. blah, blah, blah. And now elections are happening as Zimbabwe is now going to be the chairman. I ju I'm just wondering uh, what we are going to do with the uh, Nefas Mumba's mm -hmm. uh, reporting and uh, I mean, better than ever right now. I mean, Haka Indi needs Nangagwa better than ever right now. Mm -hmm. Ramaphosa needs, needs uh, Nangagwa in terms of support, mm -hmm. in, in assisting in, in running the elections yeah. effectively. And they are voting tomorrow, by the way, mm -hmm. yeah. in, in South Africa. Mm -hmm. And this whole issue of handlers for me gets me quite upset to a certain level where until we understand who is putting the money on the table, mm -hmm. our politics is an entertainment for the poor. Entertainment for the poor. Politics, entertainment for the poor. Mm. Because yeah. when you tell me who is sponsoring the politician, mm -hmm. I, I, and, and I get excited in Zimbabwe without mixing my words, mm -hmm. that I could actually pick up three sanctions have come to us as a blessing because they excluded external support mm -hmm. of the political structures. Yeah. So the country had to be innovative mm -hmm. to come up with its own internal economic system which will support itself and run the political machinery. Mm -hmm. So I can guarantee you as I'm sitting right here mm -hmm. that all the money for running the elections in Zimbabwe and the campaign and everything, mm -hmm. it has all come from inside the country. <laughs> Not outside the country. You can't say that about South Africa. Mm -hmm. So for South Africa, it's coming from elsewhere. I will tell you things that will mess up your head. <laughs> that even South Africa as a country is registered in America as a company. Not oh, as a country. South Africa mm. is registered as a company. Do your research right now. Go on the New York Stock Exchange and Google mm. South Africa. It's a, it's a corporation. <laughs> the people in South Africa, they are just managers and administrators of a colonial system. Now you're talking real apartheid. Mm. Are the Africans free? When the economics of the country. In that regard, no, they're not. Zimbabwe, you are much more free. Mm. So what uh, governance solution do you propose for challenges facing uh, African nations? We need to look at the past mm -hmm. so that we can see the future. The solutions that we have are the solutions that are in, from where we are coming from. Mm -hmm. We were great Zimbabwe before Britain was Great Britain. Mm. And I've always said that we cannot be footnotes in our own history. We need to look back and understand what, where we come from as a people. What is it that made us a people? A tree is only as strong as its roots. And when you water the roots, you eat the fruits. Mm -hmm. And until a nation 
respect its history. This must become our academic institution mm. curriculum. Mm. This must become our medicines. This must become our fashion. This must become our music. This must become our roads. This must be our celebration, mm -hmm. our history. Mm -hmm. And the solutions we are looking for can only be found when the young people's energies are tapped into to become creative mm -hmm. and innovative. Yes. And that's where the solutions are sitting. So solutions are not going to be coming from anywhere. Mm -hmm. Not even from the sky. Not even the coming of Jesus will help us. Mm -hmm. We needed to start finding a way as to how do we best maximize on our resources, mm -hmm. create our own industries, and own the value chains. Mm. And I have a beautiful message for you and your, all your listeners out there. Mm -hmm. Please, Bakuman. So, Kerae Kuma Misha. Misha Yana Seku. Misha Yana Mbuya. Ama Tongo. So, Kerae Kuma Tongo Kuya. Mdo Vakadzimba. Mujare Miti. Yemichere Kuti Mugoja. Mihomba Yenye Mabura. Mihomba Yenye Nyimo. Khazenyu. Chengitaya Ngombe Zenyu. Nimbudzenyu, pane zvove zvenyu, pane zvinyuchi zvenyu, nezvimuri mm -hmm. zvenyu. Mwenda mm -hmm. kumbaba all day, kana tupakati pa pa weekend, muno tora muri wo ine nzungu ni nyama, nzoka kumadoroba mchigara. Mm. Kuti pamuno retire apo. Ngoana pa unondo gara. Yeah, and for young people listen to me very well. Mm -hmm. It's not about all of you getting minda, tuna yeah. minda, tuna minda. Mm -hmm. Right now some of our traditional homes are falling apart yes. while you are queuing kuti muna minda kuno. Mm -hmm. And what does that do? Jarai organic foods. Rukweza, munga, apfunde, azichi, so much children are mabagwe. So when you are talking about drought, we have a drought of ideas rather than the drought. Yeah, of course, I wanted to ask about that because in April, you know, President uh, Mnangawa declared a national disaster, you know, to tackle the prolonged drought crisis. And I wanted to find out from you what are your thoughts. You know, or government's uh, re response to the drought crisis. I'm, I've already mentioned in passing mm. that the, our drought is a yes. drought of indigenous mm. knowledge. Atina kumbeta damu zikura kada ikare ma. Chai chai ita kutirara me. Nguti une variet. Unorukweza. Unamapfundi. Une munga. Une nyimo. Une wabura. Une nichi. It was a wide variety yeah. of foods mm -hmm. that were much healthier yeah. than Jenamponis. Mm -hmm. Sasa has been here in the country for less than 150 years. Yes. Mabagwe, especially white. Edu mm -hmm. karangaya, angane zimunzi, zitoko. The yield is low. Yeah. But the quality is higher. Yeah, true. Right now, the yield is higher. Yamabagwe machena. And the quality is low. Quality is low. Mm -hmm. Even the issue of GMO foods. Which when I said go, Nana Insko, mm -hmm. I am Benson was arrested the other day. Mm -hmm. Maybe I must also speak softly before <laughs> I'm also put into that same column. But yeah, sure. Let's go back to our fundamentals. Let's go back to our health. We cannot be poor mm -hmm. when we utilize. And why must we go back to the past? Mm -hmm. We go back to the past because we survived. We survived mm -hmm. famines of the past. Yeah. We don't start living now. Mm -hmm. Equals nominal 2004. Mm -hmm. We've been here. For years, mm -hmm. and we've gone through myriads of challenges from mm -hmm. grasshoppers to storms to droughts, but we've had crops that were able to survive those droughts. Mm -hmm. And when we throw away that intelligence, most likely we're losing. Yeah, true. Ourselves. Very powerful. So, do you believe the declaration of a national disaster will bring about you know effective and timely relief for those uh, for those most affected? We have good news also, which I reported on the other day, that we have enough wheat now to last mm -hmm. us for two years. We met up our wheat target. Mm -hmm. So bread could be could be possible. Yeah. We have food. Let me not sound an alarm. We have maize. We will be able to survive. We will not die. Mm -hmm. It's only that every year we're topping up our silos. So what's going to happen now is that the yield of this year mm -hmm. is, not, is going to be used to cover up. But we're not going to be starving. Mm. It means that we will not be able to export yeah. and sell, and etc. But we have, we have food in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. And in Miwan, we have food in Zimbabwe. 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 Go back to Chikaranga. Diversify your planting. Mm -hmm. Go back to old methods. Did you remember that? Yeah, sure. In Dai Kushira Zekar. Mudovunza wa kurutu. Zai Hwase. Mugo Zidza Mugo wa Nanjeri. Yeah. Powerful. So uh, I know that, uh, like you said, you are doing your, you are writing your book, your own Bible, and other other, other stuff. 
So what can viewers expect, you know, from the movie you have scripted, uh, which you mentioned inspired your new look? Mm. Oh, that white hair of mine, yeah. Yes. Yeah, the movie, I think we are finalizing the editing part, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm not at liberty to share much of the details yes. in terms of the titles and uh, who are we featuring. Mm -hmm. The proper marketing team will, yeah. will do that. And I think I'll give you a scoop yeah. immediately that opportunity is available. I can't wait. I will, I will, I will bring you the paraphernalia and maybe yes. give you even a ticket for the yes. premiere yes, of, of the movie in South Africa. Yes. And um, you can look forward to, to that, mm -hmm. I think, roughly before the end of this year. Mm -hmm. We should be done with that. I wrote seven of them. Wow. So this is just the first uh, trilogy that we are, mm -hmm. we are pushing out, yes. Mm, that's, so, uh, that's powerful. And um, when should we expect it? Uh, I think October. Mm -hmm. If I can throw a date there, I think October we should be good to go. And the, but the book, um, I've been persuaded by some friends to say, let me release the first 300, 300 chapters. Mm -hmm. that I, have, I think about 350 now. Yes. So I could maybe edit the first 300, that would be the first testament. Mm -hmm. And it will be available, I think. Uh, I have so much I'm doing, but I think maybe mid next year. Mm -hmm. That's powerful. So, as we conclude, I understand, you know, sometimes controversy always follow people like you. And, uh, you know, in 2021, you were allegedly said to have been involved in an illicit affair with another, uh, another lady. 21. 2021. 20, 20, 21. 2020, right? You can't even remember. Yeah. So, which you vehemently denied. You denied that. Yeah. Can you provide insights? into the challenges you faced, you know, during these scandals related to your um, personal life as well, uh, particularly the affair with the young lady from KwaZulu-Natal. When you asked me that question last time again, and it looks like you're not satisfied. Yeah, you yeah, want to bring sure. it again as part of just gossiping sure. and stuff like that. <laughs> it, it excites you in this big end. As part of gossiping. I mean, you, <laughs> you can't call me for an interview twice and ask the same question. The same twice. question. But it is fine. Yeah. It, 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 the challenges of... Um, of uh, adulthood and maturity and popularity mm -hmm. comes with lots of lots of hundred percent uh, lots of its own problems mm. of its own nature and uh, once in a while power is exciting mm -hmm. and it can also be detrimental true and power is beautiful but mm -hmm. power is destructive yes power attracts power repels mm -hmm. and before you notice it power also can create obsession true and uh, stalkers mm. Power can kill, and when love and power mm -hmm. are in bed together and obsession falls in, mm -hmm. even the concept of people being killed and being stalked mm. and being hacked yes. has come into place. Mm -hmm. The love and passion have become one of the centers of, of human destruction yes. for the longest part of mm -hmm. history. True. And some people, when they get what they want, mm -hmm. they, they do what they want. Mm. And some people, when they don't get what they what want, they want. They do other things yeah. that they want to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, having said that, whoever has an interest in that story mm -hmm. should find the storyline, find those that were peddling the mm -hmm. stories, mm -hmm. like Solomon Ashom yeah. in South Africa, mm -hmm. the other religious leaders mm -hmm. who were involved in that, and the lady herself was involved in that. Mm. And find out, if you want to really understand that story, what was I saying exactly. those days? Exactly. That could have offended people. Mm -hmm. I, would, I was just coming out, yeah. beginning to... Do I might be shopping? Mm -hmm. Oh yes. You know, the church stories, mm -hmm. the witchcraft in churches, yes. the yes. eating of grass, the snakes, mm -hmm. and so I created quite a lot of enemies. Yes, true. both inside and outside. Outside, yeah. I would not justify that being the reason, mm -hmm. but from where I'm looking, I always look at my enemies, mm -hmm. depending on the quality of message I'm saying. Yes. Then I would see exactly where. Mm -hmm. And since people had, were no longer calling me a bishop. Mm -hmm. And since I'd already stopped being a bishop, mm -hmm. even if there were facts in that, what's your problem? Mm. If there was any problem, it was with my wife, yeah, yeah, not yeah. with the church. Mm -hmm. So you cannot say, he's no longer a bishop, he's no longer a pastor. Yes. You, you, you come around again, mm -hmm. hey, but he, what's your problem? Mm -hmm. I'm no longer any, under your jurisdiction. Of course. I'm no longer under your, your, your supervision. Mm -hmm. And if, if you want, then take me to court. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and then take me to court that Mabonga is an affair. And <laughs> go and drag me to court. But if you can't do that, then shut up. Mm -hmm. yeah, but so can you can, can you just share maybe any lessons or personal growth you've experienced as a result of you know navigating these controversies? Keep your ears open to learning. 
Keep your doors open to learning. Only fools know everything. Mm -hmm. As long as you are alive, you are going to be learning. And stick to your belief. Speak to your truth. Stick to it. Mm -hmm. Speak to it. And grow in what you understand. Don't pretend like you understand something when you don't understand something. Yeah. And by the way, Ola, guess how easy it is. Mm -hmm. I get up on your station here. Yeah. And I say to you, I accept Jesus mm -hmm. as my personal savior. Mm -hmm. He died for me, he died for my sins. Yeah. And he's coming back again. Mm -hmm. Take me home. Mm -hmm. Swing chariots, swing chariots. Let me ride. I believe in Jesus, shall we pray? Yeah. In the name of the Father, the Son, and, and the, the Holy, Holy Ghost. <laughs> May the grace of the Lord and be with you all. Mm -hmm. And may cause his countenance to shine upon your faces mm. and give you peace. What does the church say? And I would walk away from here. Yes. And you would not know nothing. Exactly. So are you telling me that people want to live with people? And when you see me do that, I'm managing you. Mm. I will get offended. Yes. If I discover that someone is doing something mm -hmm. to manage me. Exactly. I'd rather deal with an open-minded, frank mm -hmm. person mm -hmm. whom I can engage, debate with. Yes. We grow together. Of course. So I don't know what people want. Maybe I must just shut up. Mm -hmm. I've been told many times on the field, just shut up, Maponga. Yes. Just shut up. <laughs> okay, maybe let me keep quiet. Exactly. Okay, as <laughs> if when I, when I keep quiet... <laughs> You will know what I know. Nothing. Nothing <laughs> or you'll like understand it. where I am. Oh. So in the midst of my silence does not mean that you are growing. Yeah. So yeah. I've learned something. Move. Walk. Mm -hmm. Open your ears. Keep your spiritual ears mm -hmm. wide open. The universe is still talking. Mm -hmm. If I could use Christian language, God is still in the business mm -hmm. of guiding people's lives. And he may not guide them. He, he will guide Ezekiel, mm -hmm. to live with the mm -hmm. slaves by the river Kiba. Yes. He will guide Daniel to be in the palace mm -hmm. with Nebuchadnezzar. He will guide David to go and look after sheep. Mm. He will guide Moses up into Midian yeah. to go and look after. And if you say Elijah's ministry is the only template, mm -hmm. This is how God works. He, <laughs> can, he, he can't change he from can't it. He can't change that. Then yeah. if you do that, then you, you will miss up mm. on, the, on, the, on, the, on the life of, yeah. of Solomon. Mm -hmm. You'll True. miss up on the life of Eli. Mm. you miss up on the life of Ruth. you miss up on the life of Boaz. Yeah. Because each one of these people mm -hmm. have their own, and have, God has his own ways yes. of dealing with all of us. Mm. So don't try to come to me, me with your experience. Yes. And expect that the way God has led you and blessed you is the same way. Is the same way God will <laughs> lead and bless you. So, me. what steps, you know, um, are you taking to reconcile with those who may have been hurt, you know, or offended by your past actions or statements? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look, people are offended. I don't know. You know maybe I'm looking at it from the totally different perspective. Mm -hmm. Where I am looking at myself and saying, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what he said. It's personal. Exactly. 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 Right, I know Burgundy in the Nintendo. Exactly. What else? Tumbles and I'm a punk. 
Mabungo iti. Hey. Ah, what is my what is response? Zimwe zimwe mujizi mujizi bata bo many kwesha emiro mu kwesha na manga o man. Yeah, msiana na manga ngo njano kwesha mu. Okay, fair fine. As we conclude, mm. your um your parting remarks and also probably there's a question that you say okay. This question when wa pese pandagrama interviews, I was talking about about this question. Mm. Was it what, what was that question? It's where we, 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 I think you asked it, but not in so many words. Yeah. As to where am I now? Uh, where do I think I'm going? Yes. And what's happening in my spiritual life? Yeah. How am I praying? Mm -hmm. And what do I now believe in? Yes. Again, people want me to find another box where I can now say I'm here, mm -hmm. so people can run there. Yes. So I'm trying to develop a critical thinking audience, mm -hmm. people who can question. Yeah. In our infancy, we believed everything. Mm -hmm. In our old age, we question everything. Everything. And at the end of the day, therefore, it's not always about just believing and believing. And even the Bible says, those who believe and don't do, mm -hmm. they are dead. Yeah. So we, we, have, we have to stop talking. Mm -hmm. And what right now I believe in, I want to say I believe, I believe in God more mm -hmm. than I used to. Okay. Because I now believe in the God of war. God of war. Yeah. Who only does not fight the wars of the Israelites. Mm hmm but also must fight the wars of the Africans. Okay. He cannot just be appearing mm -hmm. in front of Moses, leading them to the promised land. And, and the Karanga not... and the Shona people in the Zimbabweans will never see him. Mm -hmm. All we know is to follow behind the white man. Exactly. So I'm really looking for a savior who can save us as Africans. Mm -hmm. And when I got there, then my mind made a U-turn. and says, what if I say you are the savior yourself? Mm -hmm. What if every one of us Will take the attitude yeah. of being a savior in their own mm -hmm. families, mm -hmm. in their own communities. Maybe we'll become a better place. Mm. So I now believe in you, Ola. Yeah. That we've met at this timeline, mm -hmm. the same time space. Mm -hmm. You have something that you can do for, for me. Mm -hmm. I have something I can do for you. Mm -hmm. There is something we can do together. Yes. And here we are. Mm -hmm. Making the change that we want to become. Powerful. Yeah. And I'm also very excited to tell you. I have a music uh, album mm -hmm. that is coming up. Wow. And uh, many people don't know that other side of me. Yes, but you are also a singer. I did your celebration for about uh, four or five years. Yeah. yeah. That young guy was playing the harmonica there. Yes. That was me. Oh. Yeah. Really? I worked with them, Tunzis, uh, Jabutongwanes. Wow. Uh, wow. Vuyo Mukwena. Yes. May soul rest in peace. Uh -huh. Mwangile Kumalo. Did some work with him also, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. did some stuff with Brayu. Wow. Sepotola, uh, the late, so rest in peace, uh, Dorot Masuka, mm -hmm. uh, the list goes on. I mean, so, so, so now you have got your, uh, your own album now? I play more than, this, I play more than 15 first? music instruments. Really? So I'm going to give you guys a taste, mm -hmm. a little taste. I have an archive of more than 600 songs. Well, what, what genre is this? African spirituals. African. My own genre. You, oh, Creating African my, spirituals. Yeah, my own sound. Wow. Does sound it include mbira there? Mbira, trumpets, saxophones, mm -hmm. uh, traditional drums, nyatitis, mm -hmm. banduras, all the instruments that I play. So I fused them. I fused them into a, into a orchestra of, of madness. Wow. Of madness. Oh. Yeah. And um, what's the message all about? Pan-Africanism, mm -hmm. spiritual connections. Some of them, there are no words. It's just instrumental. Instruments. Deep instruments. You know. Wow. Yeah. And you know, what is that, that music I'm using now for my meditation. Remember, yes. if you have a Bible, mm -hmm. you need a hymn book. Yes. So I'm creating the... the <laughs> 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 so you're writing the Bible yeah. and the center the, the hymn. Yeah, well. the only thing I've not thought about is the offering plate. Okay. But uh, the, the, the Bible <laughs> I, I will have... <laughs> and the, the music I already have. Exactly. I, I think actually I would love to look at myself post, uh -huh. post my death. Yes. I would love to see how people <laughs> are going to look at all this information mm -hmm. finally consolidated. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, people when they listen to my music mm -hmm. and uh, read some of these uh, designs and yes. redo for themselves. Yes, yes. I make all my clothes. So you designed uh, this? Yeah, yeah. I make all my clothes. I make all my clothes. Wow. And then take my books uh -huh. and read. And, and so does it have a name? Rewatch re these, these videos. This, this sort of uh, dressing? 
Oh, it's a combination. I got some material from uh, Mali uh-huh. and up there. Got some beads from Kondavele in Swaziland. I got yes. uh, the undergarment from yes. Kenya. Mm-hmm. And I got this one from Ghana. Wow. And uh, so it's, 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 as I walk around, then I collect my I collect my pieces of art. And this is yes. from Mashingo. Oh, from Mashingo? Mm, yeah. I got wow. it personally made in Mashingo there by wow. someone. And, uh, wow. Yeah. And, and, and the beads. The beads, yes. There's some kofa uh-huh. looking backwards. I do that now when I'm doing lots of processing of thoughts. Oh, yes. Then I, 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 I package mm-hmm. ideas oh, yes. in, in the beadwork mm-hmm. so that I could begin to process certain. So, uh, is your wife also wearing same st- same stuff same thing my wife is a christian mm-hmm. she's an adventist mm-hmm. she still goes to church for yeah time and she, yeah once in a while when she finds what she likes yes she she puts them on mm-hmm. but otherwise she she's a high street girl from she's a gucci girl yes uh, Oppo, totally opposite of yeah, and, <laughs> and once in a while i must be forced yeah to look gucci also okay so, and then people <laughs> see me in a suit he's confused exactly i'm not confused yeah, yeah. I'm complying also. Exactly. Also. The wife is also saying something. She, she, um, she's taking me to her place <laughs> to meet her people. Yes. You know, and she wants, of she wants me to look like, you know. Exactly. And, but yeah. when I'm inviting her to my space Exactly. Also, you also she, say. She complies. She complies. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Jabba Baba Poka, for coming through to Thank this, you. Uh, you know, podcast. Mm. I really appreciate it. And uh, that was uh, Baba Maponga. I'm, I'm that sure. That was a long interview, huh? Very long. Huh? Very, very mm. long, actually. And uh, I think I've personally I've learned one or two things, and um, you see how you see how difficult it is. Yeah. In two hours, he has learned one or two things. Now imagine <laughs> when he must learn ten or fifteen. No, I can I, 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 I cannot lie that I've learned everything. Maybe yeah, right. after after this interview, I'll sit down and watch it. You know, uh, maybe I will yeah. learn ten or more things. I was just now. teasing. Today, so you see how you see how difficult it yes, is exactly. to, to teach three things. Three things. You speak for two hours. You only teach one or two. <laughs> one, two. <things>. <laughs> of course. <laughs> no, it has been with you. No, 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 no. Great. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for watching, and we really appreciate your support. And we we'll continue giving you, you know, exciting episodes, exciting interviews with, you know, the people, mm. the people. The likes of Baba Maponga. Thank you. Thank you so much. Until next time. Bye bye. Thank you. Every dollar sent home from the diaspora by your loved ones represents their hard work and commitment to ensuring that you're all taken care of. That's why we want to ease their experience and make it more convenient. With Sasai Money Transfer, sending money from the diaspora is free and you receive the money straight into your EcoCash USD wallet, ready for you to spend and cash out for free. That way, you can receive money to help you alleviate the impact of the drought on you and your family. Buy groceries, pay school fees, renew your insurance, pay bills and more within a few taps on your phone. And you're guaranteed access to USD cash from any registered EcoCash outlet nationwide. Tell your family in the diaspora to send money with Sasai Money Transfer today. Let's fight the El Nino-induced drought together. EcoCash. Live life the EcoCash way. It's the little things that make us giants in our industry. We put in that extra mile of service so your car can go that extra mile of performance. Our aim is to make our stopovers feel like home. Giant Petroleum. Limitless Energy.